Hello. Good morning. Good morning, friends. How are we doing? Oh, we'll wait. One second. One more thing. One more thing. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Okay. More lights. Yay! Always more lights, right? How's everybody? Lunar, congratulations on the Battle Royale win. Congrats. It was a big win for you. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, friends. Gord. Gord was first, but Larwood tried very, very hard. <laughs> How could you miss day one? Indecisive. I don't know. How did you miss it? How did you miss day one? It was Monday. Today is day two. Um, hey, Gord. Happy no meeting day to you. Indigo glow stick. I'm gonna turn the music down a little so I can hear the alert better. Yeah! Thank you, Indigo! Thank you so much! I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday so far. I appreciate it. Oh, Larwood, like, same, honestly. Honestly, same. I, uh... I'm really into this game. I'm, like, really excited to play more, and I... I hope it holds up, like... I hope it just continues being awesome, you know? Like, that, that was a really, really strong start on Monday. So I'm just really excited to get into more of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. If you, if you can tell, I'm stoked. <laughs> um, but hey, Myson, how's it going? And CN, good morning to you. It's not your morning, but happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hey, Ross, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you back around the, um, the Twitch sphere as it were. Um, yeah, we're totally, like, not winning Pokemon in our Discord. We have a Pokemon game going on in the Discord. Um, Ross made a bot that runs ROMs, so one of the channels is literally us playing Pokemon Red, but we are, I, I mean, I'm lost. I haven't played the game before, and imagine only playing, like, certain bits of it. But yes, Ross, isn't it? it's nice to see you back. <gasps> see ya? Holy shit, nine months. You fucking kidding? That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Twitch baby, name suggestions. Twitch baby, name suggestions. Throw them in the chat. Do you have Twitch baby name suggestions? I want to hear them. I want to hear them. Um, yes, today is day two. We did start this on Monday. Today is day two. Um, we made it as far as... The, we, we went into the desert, we met Bart the desert pirate, Bart is now in our party, we had a fight, and then we also fell through the quicksand, and now we're in a cave? So that's where we're at. Good morning, Sparky Matunia, nice to see you, and Ryoju, hello, hi, hi, hi. Okay, so that's, that's the name, CN Best Mod Jr. It's a it's a mouthful, but I think we could we could do that. 100 percent We could do it. <laughs> Mark, hello. How's it going? How's it going? Thanks. It's uh I mean it's hair, I guess. I don't know. Wednesdays is my lazy day, if you haven't noticed. Wednesdays is lazy day. Um Oh my what is happening? What is happening here? See ya. Oh my god. And my sin is the only survivor. <laughs> and my sin is the only survivor of that, apparently. Jeez. Yikers. Mark, have you played this game? I, I don't know the answer to that. Have you played it? Yeah, we'll get it. We just need to look at where we're at. But yeah, I, I mean, I just keep pressing buttons in the battles and the Pokemon keep dying, but it's fine. Nothing, you know, nothing is unfixable, right? Indigo, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. 100 bits, no message. Thank you, friend. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything to report. Do I have anything to catch you up on before we play the game? Um, and I think the answer is maybe no. I don't know. Off the top of my head, like, nah. This music, though? Oh, yeah. So I pulled up... I pulled up the Xenogears 
soundtrack, complete soundtrack, and that's what's playing in the background. <laughs> because uh, the place that we stopped in the game doesn't really have um, doesn't have background music because we're in a cave, so it's just like it's like dripping and like wind. I don't know. There's wind in the cave, sure. Wind, and then the starting screen for the game just like auto plays the first scene or like the opening cutscene. So I think we're just gonna do this. Yes, dripping wind indeed. Um, outfit's cute today. Thank you. It's uh, I got this shirt from um, from the Yeti. It's, it's Red Thirteen with like a with a ball that's green. Yeah. So that's what we got. Very few dungeons have music. Yeah, and that's that's fine. That, that wasn't meant to be a complaint. Not a complaint. Just a just a comment. Usually, I like to play music um, from the game while we're you know, getting ready to play, but I've had to supplement the music, I suppose, is what I'm saying. All right. There's a second FMB that plays. Do you mean like one that I'm not supposed to see yet? Or that can't be what you mean. Because if it plays at the beginning, then surely it's intended that I see it. Should I have watched that? I did not watch it. Indiglo, Indiglo, I will be happy to have you. <gasps> but who potatoed? Who? Did we get potatoed into a hype train? Lunar. You can see it, it's neat. Okay, maybe I'll check it next time. Lunar, thank you for the potato and thank you for kip kicking off the hype train. I can only assume. Lunar, I can only assume it's because you wanted to hear this music. This is the hype train music. Get into it. Lunar, <laughs> thank you for the three potatoes. We are now riding the hype train. And this music's gonna play for as long as the hype train goes, so get into it. Okay, but <laughs> well, we should start the game. Should we start the game with this music? It's pretty fucking hype. God damn. God damn. Oh, Gord. I also added um, exclamation point. Oh, oh, oh. Should do something now. First impressions of Xenogears? Indecisive? They're really good. Like, they're really good. I had a very, very good time on Monday. Um, I really enjoyed the start of this story. I, I'm enjoying the play. The only thing that's holding me back personally a little bit is the camera, but I think honestly, I just need to get used to it. I think I just need to get used to the camera rotations and it'll be fine. Um, really, really strong start for me personally. Yeah. You can desalt a soup with a potato. I don't think you learned that here. Are you saying that if a soup is too salty, you throw in a potato and it will absorb the salts. Is that is that the thing? Is that the science? All right, I'm gonna switch over. The music's gonna keep playing. <laughs> oh no, I've done this again. Hopefully this is okay. For some reason, this scene just like hates me. Like my game is open. You want this as your alarm in the morning? This would be like super hype wake up. I don't know why this hates me. It just will not. It really doesn't want to capture the game. Okay, delete. Yes, add. Like, I don't want to do this every day. I already tested this. Pacific window, retro, got it. Maybe? Maybe? Still no, eh? Well, 
Where's the game, though? Where's the game, though? Why? I need someone. I need help. I need assistance. Can someone please come over here and make my shit work? Maybe I need to start this again. Thank you for your patience. No! No. <laughs> no. I should be able to, like, I don't know why it's, it's hesitating on this. It's like refusing to capture. There it is. There it is. There it is. I think. I think we've got it. I think we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. Yes. Blow on that dick. Blow on that disc. That was a little bit of a slip there. Flippable? Maybe. JK. Ooh. All right. Continue. That delayed gratification. I don't know. I think it gets angry if I open up the game. If I open up the game before... You know what? No, I don't know what it is. If I open up the game before switching to the scene, it doesn't... It seems to not like that. But I don't know why. I don't know why. But that's okay. We fixed it now. We fixed it. Okay, so this is where we are. We're in a cave with Bart. We just fell through the quicksand. We don't know a lot about Bart yet, other than he attempted to steal my gear. Can I equip Bart? I can. You have a whip. That's cool. Hmm. That's just all bad. Okay. All right. Yeah, on PC. On PC, Gord. You are ready? All right, let's let's go. Let's see what we're doing down here. What are we doing down here? Can I just jump down? Oh my gosh, these things jump real big. I need to pay attention to my directions. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're in gears, we are in gears. Yes. Oh, and someone had mentioned on Monday that potentially I missed a a battle um, tutorial in the main world. Is that true? Did I miss? Did I miss a tutorial? Yo, it's Bart. It is Bart. I don't know him very well yet, but he's here. Yeah, as soon as here. Soon is here, and she's she's a little bit sad. Soon is having a sad day, I'll, and I'll show you exactly why she's having a sad day. She's being cone dog. Game fun, snack. Yes, game is fun. Game is fun so far. <laughs> How are you, Gregs? And snack. Nice to see both of you. Uh, extra R plus one. Extra R plus one? Yeah, so here's what happened. Here's why Asuna is currently wearing a cone. Uh, extra R plus one. I want to see what that is. So I woke up yesterday. This is her day two in a cone. Extra R plus one. Um, I woke up yesterday to her, again, um, obsessively licking her toe. And I, I don't know if she actually hurt her toe or if she hurt her toe strictly through. I have no idea what I just picked up. Strictly through licking it. Um, but her toe was bleeding. It was it was actively bleeding when we woke up yesterday. So I um, I cleaned it off, put some polysporin on it. But now she is cone dog because she won't stop licking her toe. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it is at the end of today. This morning, she still very much wanted to lick her toe, so the, the cone went back on. Oh, get on off. Your options. 
So yeah, she's a little bit she's a little bit sad, but it's for the it's for the greater good. So what are these accessories? Accessories. Oh, this is good. Okay, I should use these. So yeah, she just she hurt her she hurt her toe a little bit. Um yeah, because of allergies. So I was thinking about that in the glow and I actually um Oops. So um I get freckles food through through a um like a subscription service. And it arrives around the 10th of every month. So I actually went in yesterday and I changed the type of dog food that I'm getting just to be a different protein source as like an experiment to see whether that's a thing. So come next month, she's going to be, she's going to have a different food. So we'll see, we'll see if that's it. Because I, I did think about that. Hey Dapper, good morning. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good time at playing Donkey Kong last night. I did. I I also did a little bit of lurkies, a little bit of lurkies. Bart's your favorite character. Well, I don't. I barely know him. I barely know him, but I guess he's gonna stick around a bit. <laughs> Snailing through the day. Oh no, dude! A kid quitting coffee recently. Well, I have to assume that that's gonna be good for you in the end. But, I'm sorry that it is impacting your day. Okay. What about like, what about a tea? Could you do a tea snack? Does that inhibit your DHEA levels? I have no, I don't know. I don't know this. Yeah, the reason I was surprised into Glow um, is because her current feed is lamb. And it's usually, lamb is usually what they will change your dog onto if they're having allergy issues. So, like, we'll see. We'll see. You, d you did enjoy monkeying around. Glad to hear it. Mm -mm -mm. Is this the way? Where did I come in? I'm just walking, I'm like walking the perimeter, but I'm not, I haven't found an out yet. Right? I need a map. This is the way. What are these lights? I've just walked in a circle, I'm pretty certain. Oh gosh. Like this is not a thing I can interact with. Oh gosh. Oh geez. Okay, we're going. So, I'm going to try south. Let's go south. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sure, but the taste is not the same. That's true. That's true. Here's something that I don't know yet. Fuel. Fuel does not recharge between battles. And I mean, these little guys are nothing. I'm also curious about how much fuel charge returns. Because I don't know that answer. Jackson, have a good lurk, have a good breakfast. Okay, south is not the answer. Oh. There is something up there though, look. Okay. Gotta find a place to do jumpies. Maybe here? Can I jump on this? Nope. Uh, do you mean it like it charges the same as a heavy attack? Like it charges 30 every time? Shoot. So should I be charging? 
Am I being too gung-ho here? Too excited? I shouldn't run my, my fuel low on these little... I could use these, like, little, um... Fights to charge up. Because he's not doing... He's not even doing any damage. Oh, you're fully charged. Always be charging. Maybe that's the way. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, we gotta find somewhere to jump. We gotta do. We gotta do big jumpies. This is the way. This is the way. I I watched an episode of The Mandalorian this morning. I'm behind. I'm behind. So please don't. Please don't. I know it's over now. I know the season's over, but I'm behind. Um, I just watched episode four this morning. <laughs> there is a cooldown on it, I think. Maybe, might be 30 or 60 seconds. Gosh, I wish I knew, I wish I could zoom out and see the entire area. This is the way. Look how sad she is. Like, she's, I mean, I think she feels okay, but she's just so sad when she has the cone on. Yeah, zero damage. You know something about your little Freddy lately? You're thinking about taking them to the vet. He will make sounds like he's trying to throw up, but can't seem to do it. Um, is he eating normally? <laughs> no, exactly, my sin. She's like, but I've been such a good dog. Why must I wear the cone? Is this forever? Is the cone forever? <laughs> Makes me feel really guilty. We have been doing coneless time. Like, breaks from cone. What the heck? Okay, I think I've been around the entire circle. None of this is... What about this? Is that a step? Can I jump on this little thing? That's a no. That's gonna be a no. Like, I take off her cone, and she'll have dinner, and then, um... <laughs> and then we'll go outside and have a play. Oh my gosh. So it's, it's not all cone all the time. Oh, this thing looks gross. What is growing on your head? What is that? I'm just gonna take care of that right away. Burn it. Oh, it's like a, like a parasite has taken over this mech. That's what that... Oh, zero. Okay, shit. Your last dog didn't mind the cone. They thought it was a tool. <laughs> I destroy the house with the cone. I use the, the cone against the humans. The cone is now a weapon. No, I think she she's definitely sad. She's she's a sad girl about it. Okay, I don't like this thing. Eating normally, not lethargic. Litter is normal. Lost a fair bit of weight around Christmas. Hmm. Oh, why did I do that? That was stupid. I don't know. I think I don't know enough um, about cats and their behavior to like give you any advice. Um, I think it just I like you know your cat best. 
right? So trust trust your level of worry. If you think that he needs to go to the vet, you can take Kitty to the vet. Please die. Hey, dip sauce. <laughs> right? She totally, she totally, she totally died. Okay, that, this is, I don't like this thing. I'm going to use all my EP. How do I get EP back? Maybe there's a thing for that. Yeah, I don't know what it was, Dip, but, like, as soon as I was introduced, that, um... Like, the wedding's coming. I was very... It was very much, like... Oh, well, that... I can't see that going well. Like, this feels like a nice setup for tragedy. It just really felt that way. I don't like this thing. Your brother's dog got a cone and knocked over his bin of 3D printed miniatures? No! Oh no! Okay, die. Die, though. Fuck. Okay. Um. Can I use this on a friend? Yes. How do I know? Okay, I think that's what I want. I think this is what I want. Petition for more doggo picks in Discord. That's that's totally fair. There should be there should be more doggo picks in Discord. I agree. I will sign your petition. I will sign your petition. After I kill this thing, which it has a billion health, so we'll have to see. Well, it looks sad now, so maybe close. If you met a guy that could do sick beam attacks with his hands, you'd immediately befriend him. Like, <laughs> you meet him and you're like, there's no way. There's no way I ever want you to not be on my side, so we're best friends now. We are best friends now. That's just the way it is. Just the way it is. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. I still, I still don't know how to get the fuck out of this place, though. Like, which way am I going? I've skirted the perimeter. I didn't see anywhere <laughs> to jump out. I guess, can can he do a big jump? Like, is I've learned big jump. Is big jump a mech thing as well? Like, run jump? Eee. This is the north. Like, like this is a mech. We have jetpacks. Why is this a problem? Am I, have I missed something? Why are we stuck in here? Bart! Bart, we need help. Can I talk to Bart? It's probably a bit late to warn you, but the game gets a bit dark. I mean, it started dark. Like, there were hints of dark. Even in in the, like, like flashbacks or the scene what when he's a child and he's, like, covered in blood or that scene where... Um, Ellie apparently did a massacre, maybe? Uh, it's kind of hints, right? Hints of darkness. I, did, I think this is it. I think we're just, we live here now. I think this is where we live.
<laughs> Xenogears? Dark? Never. Wait, why does it say camera damaged? Camera damaged. Do I do something? Is that my fault? Do I fix that? I mean, that's not good. Why can't we hit this thing now? Oh, fuck you! God damn it! You always wondered what would happen if Faye had never put the gear on. Whoops. Uh, well, no. And just left with everybody. Would have been a nice wedding day. They would have had a nice wedding day had had um, had Faye just left and, and not put the gear on. Alas, it was not to be. Yeah, it didn't seem like he really had a choice. Like it was kind of mind controlly. Like he had some sort of um, like trigger from past training or something. That like activated him. That that was the feel. Okay, how the fuck? How do I get out of here? Mm. Mm. Th like this. This looks. This looks important. Okay. My sensors detect what appears to be a huge cave on the other side of here. If we could only do something about this boulder, but I doubt we can just smash it to pieces. I guess we could try pushing it? Wait, no matter how you look at it. Well, help me. Come on, Bart. What the heck are you doing? Hurry up and help. All right, all right, this is, this is bonding. This is friendship growing right here. Bart's helping me push a boulder. Hi, Night Sprite. Ah, Surfer Dude, that could have been good. We can get by if we help each other. Let's keep it up so we can get out of here. Yes. Friendship. The hydromechanic pipe for my knee joint is on the verge of breaking down. It's all because of that fall from the ceiling, followed by pushing this mega colossal boulder. It won't be funny if my gear malfunctions in a hu huge cavern like this. Your friends won't come and help us? It'd be a waste of time waiting. They probably won't come. But aren't they your friends? We believe in a liberal upbringing. They'll think we can escape us by ourselves. Oof. I wonder if Doc is okay. I'm fine. Don't worry about the man you were with. Good morning, CD. I'm sure our guy saved him by now. What is it? We wouldn't have fallen in here if you had only listened to me. Yeah, tell him. Don't blame it on me. You should have surrendered instead of challenging me. All I wanted was your gear. Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who blindly attacked me. What else was I supposed to do? I thought I might die if I didn't fight you. But I was taking it easy on you, couldn't you tell? Then you're a bit dense. Don't lie to me. I know you were serious. What? You want some? Let's have it out right here. <laughs> hey, Malform. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Wait. Settling it right here comes first. I won't be able to get anything done until we settle this once and for all. Oh, shit. It just started, like, pouring. It's fucking raining. Jeez. All right. I thought you wanted to get a I thought you wanted a truce for now. Getting out of here should come first. Once we're out of here, then I'll fight you all you want. Let's hurry up and move on out of here. I don't like you very much. Maybe they are not BFFs. Damn it. I'll get you when we get out of here. I don't understand why why are you so mad, Bart? Do we need to do you need to talk about something? Okay, wait. I thought I saw something here. 
Hmm. Angles. Ooh. Ooh. How goes the Xeno gearing? Um, we had a rough start just trying to find our way out of a circle, but now that we're out, it's wonderful and we're fighting with our non-friends. I thought we were gonna make friends, but apparently we're not. God. He did a lot of damage. He does a lot more damage than me, maybe? He's very strong. That's- that's true, Gregs. Um... Call that unintentional grinding. It's it's for the greater good. Okay, this is the way we are going. Oh no. This is the box that I saw. What's this box? A gold nugget. Oh, I fully expect Bart to steal that from me. He's a pirate after all. This is this the way I came? No. Okay, we're good. The greater good. Indeed. Oh, I keep forgetting we can run. Oh, it's not running. It's like floating. Sweet. Yeah, this is very like dragoony. I feel like a dragoon right now. Or a wingly. This is a weirdly linear path. Not if you steal his heart first. Oh shit. Oh, we have to stomp the littles. I don't like this. I don't like stomping the littles. It doesn't feel nice. Did he just... Did he just trip and fall and, like... Kill himself? Gundaming and Breath of Fire 3. I've been told by multiple people to play Breath of Fire 3. You could say that I have been, like, nagged about it a lot by one particular person who I will not name, but they really want me to play Breath of Fire 3. <laughs> Dane Bread, hello! Yeah, this looks fair, right? I, like, good on them for being brave enough to take us on. I, but I feel really bad about it. Extra R plus one. How are you, Dane Bread? And Wookie's here. He's got. He's in an ad though. We'll wait for Wookie to get out of his ad. <laughs> you should play Breath of Fire three. Oh, should I? Thanks, Dane Bread. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Wookie's back. Hi, Wookie. How are you? I think Breath of Fire 1 is on my, like, to play list, but should I just skip right to 3? Wookie, this game's great, and you should play it. You will like this. Okay. Not as much as I pester you about another game. Should we play Persona 4 Golden? I think it's worse now that I actually own it, if that makes sense. Oh, that, yeah. Okay, so I was talking to a friend this morning, my sin, telling her that I had just started this game. And she brought up Xenosaga because I, I guess it was one of her favorite series and she really, really liked it. But I had never thought about playing it or playing them until I started this, I guess. Should I put Xenosaga on, on my backlist? I know they're not directly related right like not the same characters but just within the same like big big world i suppose yes persona 4, four golden yes persona mm. one's pretty rough played two or three before that okay noted you're 80 hours into persona 4 golden it's a blast i i bought it I bought it um, on sale a while ago. It's sitting in my in my Steam library, and it has been on a poll before. Um, it didn't win, but it, it tried. It did its best. Okay, uh, tell the current situation. 
Sand sensors have detected an abnormal amount of sand. The sand barrier south of Terrace Stones has been sealed to prevent sand from entering the excavation site. What's with this gear? It's, it's well maintained for a gear. Just left lying around like this? Oh, can you tell me the other thing? Uh, surrounding area info. Did my friend ever play Gears? No, they did not. Indecisive. They just played Xeno Saga. You can't imagine how it would work for stream. It has an issue. Oh. Is it a spoiler if you tell me what the... I mean, I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Please, please tell me. The music whips. There is a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stones that was built to stop the shifting of sand. Until the barrier reopens, please assemble at the shelter located to the east of the barrier wall. Okay, so east? We're going to go east? You like seeing a second one and three? You would still play two, but two is rough. Wait, Persona 5 is superior. And probably even better if you haven't played Persona 5 first. Okay, Wookie, I've played about 25 hours of Persona 5 and then I put it on hold because I found it overwhelming. Overwhelming. The The balance of gameplay to story was... was I, there wasn't enough gameplay for me. That's all. Oh, are you serious? It has like 30 minute cutscenes? Wow. Yeah, that's a lot to watch on stream. Who'd have thought there would be someone living in a place like this? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, big jumpies. Well, I'm... I know where I want to go, but can I please explore this area first? I don't think there's anything here. Just fights. Xenosaga is a movie. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And maybe I will not add it to the list, but I might play it just, like, by myself? Oh, come on. I mean, I am interested since my, my friend, like, I trust my friend. I trust my friend. She, and she spoke quite highly of the series. So. Hi, bird. Good morning. I really like the, um, back to Persona. Back to Persona. I really liked the palaces. I liked going into the palaces and playing through the palaces, but I found that there was too much stuff in between the palaces. Like, it, it, there was a lot of, a lot of story, a lot of talking, and I just wanted to go fight things more. All right. It gave me a save point, so I'm going to use it. I'm not, I'm no fool. The fighting is the side content. Yeah, well, yeah, it is kind of life simulator because the, you make choices about what you do every day, which like boosts your stats and stuff. Okay, what is this? Can I even go in there? I'm in a huge mech. Surely I don't fit through this door. We must abandon the mechs. Hey, Faye, this is a surprise. There's someone living in this place. Hmm, it's been a while, but I thought I could hear the sound of gears. I assume they're yours. Well, anyway, come on back in here and make yourself at home. What a welcoming man. He doesn't know us at all. It's been a long time since my last visitor. What happened? Did you fall from the surface? I guess that's it. 
I see. That's too bad. Maybe he wants to make soup out of us. That's it. He invited us in. He invited us in because he want, he's going to eat us. He wants to eat us. <laughs> I can tell from the sound that you both ride good gears, but the legs seem to be playing up a bit. Is he going to fix our gears? You mean, you can tell what's wrong just by the sound of its footsteps? <laughs> it's easy to know what's wrong with gears by the sound they make. My guess is that one of them needs a new hydromechanic pipe at its joints. Damn, this guy is good. It's making a nasty sound. It must be hard to walk with, too. Oh, by the way, the name's Balthazar, but you can call, call me Old Man Ball. Maybe it's Old Man Bal. We're gonna call him Old Man Ball. Oh, yeah? So looks like we got a fantastic... We got a real fanatic here, huh? What's an old man like you doing in a place like this? I guess you can call me a fossicker or a collector of things. There is much to be found lying around in this here stalactite cavern. A collector, huh? Sounds interesting. Old man bald? <laughs> Why would I call you that, sir? Lunar, it's happening. It's happening. Hmm. This, is this the distant future to 2010? The things on this shelf. Are they some of the stuff you found? You mean the fossils? They are one of the things I collect. Feel free to have a look at them. Around here, you can dig up ancient machines along with human and animal fossils. That's a lot of skulls, sir. Notice anything particular on these shelves? They go from oldest on the left to newest on the right. Are you an archaeologist or something, old man? I don't quite see what you're talking about. They just look like a bunch of old bones to me. Faye, what do you think? Bart is a simple man. Let me see. First, there's no human bones up here. Then, from here on over to the right, something is slightly different, I guess. Yes, from a certain point in time, human fossils suddenly no longer appear. That point is roughly 10,000 years ago. What does that mean? Don't ask me. I don't know for sure. But my guess is there were no humans on this planet before then. At least, it appears so. How could that be? What about all that talk about evolution? You mean the theory of evolution is taught by the ethos, right? You can't trust that. Rather, I believe in the old legends and myths. Legends? Myths? Haven't you heard of this story? They say that humans and God lived together in a paradise in the sky. Ooh. Ooh, I'm into this. I'm into this music hit. Yes. With God's protection, there was no fear of death, and natural disasters were entirely unknown. Then one day, the humans ate a forbidden fruit, which gave them incredible wisdom. But God drove mankind from the paradise for their sin. Bitter at having been driven out of paradise, humans used the wisdom they had gained to make giants. With these giants, they planned to challenge God himself, but God poured his wrath down on them. All who defied God were destroyed, but God himself did not escape unharmed. Taking paradise with him, the wounded god buried himself deep beneath the ocean to sleep for eons. Okay. Before going to sleep, god used his remaining power to create right-hearted humans to live on this planet. These people are said to be our ancestors. <laughs> the dripping winds. The dripping wind music. You wonder if SMT would be more my speed. I have been curious about the SMT games to be completely honest. Um, 
I would like to give one a shot. I do own SMT3, but I haven't really tried it out yet. Uh, yes, Steampunker. <laughs> Bart is... Bart's a good old southern boy. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll stop my rambling now. Okay. Do you have anything I can touch? Sexy demon Pokemon. I mean, you've sold it. You've sold it, Night Sprite. That's all I needed to know. I don't think there's anything in here for me. But isn't he going to help me? Aren't you going to help me clean, like fix my thing? By the way, does this cave have an exit? There is an exit in the excavation site beyond the sand barrier. You can get outside through there. Sand barrier. You mean that huge wall you can see from your entrance? Ooh. Yes, that's it. On the other side is an old Ave excavation station. They built the wall when Ave was excavating here to keep the sand from falling in from above. But they've stopped work there now. So how do we open such a huge thing like that? If it's a wall, I can probably break it down. Hold your horses there, young'uns. No matter how good a gear you have, you'll never break that wall down. It's much too strong, so let's make a deal. A deal? The wall was closed due to the reaction of the sand sensors. Thanks to that, now I can't get through the, to the other side either. Maybe it happened when you two fell in here. Were you boys fighting up there or something? <laughs> You seem to be able to tell everything. Anyway, so what can we do about it? It's very simple. You just have to turn off the sand sensor switches. Doing that will keep the barrier from closing again. While you two are doing that, I'll open it up. Okay, so we have to do switches. Right, got it. The sensors are in two places. You should see their flashing red lights. Well, good luck then. Let's go, Bart. Oh, man, do you not- do you have a map, sir? Oh, before you go, here's a map. No. I can share parts and fuel with you. Just talk to me whenever you need something, right? Thanks, old man. Well, we'll go and finish our part of the deal, then. Uh, okay. Now hurry and, sh now hurry and shut off the sand sensors. Or do you have something else you want to ask? Oh yeah, where are the sensors? Yeah. I don't know where they are. Can you tell me? <laughs> Mason, I just don't like change. Ugh. Okay. One is up the rock ledge above the boulder in the great hall. You can find it by climbing the terrace stones out there and heading into the passage in the northwest wall. Good morning, Darth. Nice to see ya. The other sensor is on the road from which you can see the waterfalls. The road from which you can see the waterfalls. You can get to it by going northwest from the place where the gear is standing. It is on a rock ledge. You can tell that it is a sand sensor by its square shape and the flashing red light it emits. Okay. Did he fix my stuff? He said he was going to fix my stuff. Did he fix my stuff? Status? Mm. Here? I don't know. Maybe fixing the stuff was part of the deal of like after I press the buttons. I'm just, I'm walking around spamming X because I want to steal from this man. It'd be interesting to see me go through Nocturne. That's, that's SMT3, right? I am, I'm interested. I, I, I mean, I bought it. I bought it when it was on sale a bit ago. I'm trying to steal. What do you got, sir? Do you not keep anything in your home that's worth taking? He sleeps on a rock. Oh, this guy. All right, let's go. 
How's it going, Darth? How's your Wednesday been so far? Heat Pixie from the beginning. What if Pixie's really strong, my sin? What if Pixie is really strong? File. I do kind of, I know the gist of those games, right? You collect things and then, well, do you merge them together or you feed them to other things? Something? Yes, the remaster. Yeah. The remaster is what I have. The What is it? It's for PS4? Question mark? Okay. He said one was up this up this thing i think we're going up and the other one is back maybe it's this way uh back past where that robot was oh is this a dead end no it's not okay Ooh, hanging at a really cozy coffee shop that sounds lovely are you working from there or is are you off today Um, I didn't see anything. Is this the right way? I don't know. This feels like I'm super backtracking, but this isn't the way I came. Bringing Zwerg into the final battle against Bahamut? He held his own. Um, Zwerg may have been the hero of that fight. Let's not, let's not diss Zwerg, okay? He did his very best. Ah, gotcha, late start. Well, that sounds like a wonderful start to your day. Super chill. Yeah, he just, I think he just hurt himself by falling over. Good charge. Adriana, good morning. Nice to see you. It's going well. We just met Old Man Ball. Old Man Balthazar told him to, told us to call him Old Man Ball, so we will. Repeatedly. Okay. Now those seem, um... I don't know. I don't think I need those things. Right? Those are repeats of what I have. Like, I think we already have those equipped. Maybe I could sell those later. We're looking for a red flashing box. I somehow feel like I'm going, the like, entirely the wrong way, but... Welcome to Boring Hole now. Just, yeah, just live with your thoughts. Holy crap, it's Chad! Chad's here! Chad, I've missed you so much. There's no way I'm supposed to be this way. Ah uh, yes, the big brain game. Big brain. Big brain game, indeed. How are you, Chad? Thank you for the sub. Chad went and got himself... Yeah, this is... Where am I? Chad went and got himself this full-time job thing, and he hasn't been streaming. Oh, no, no, this is it. I went the right way. This is the thing. Disengaged. And he hasn't been streaming, and I, like, really miss him. But it's nice this to see you. <laughs> I did a good thing. So now we have to go find the other one. Okay. Backtrack. We're backtracking. Chad, you played this game, right? Good morning, Gold. Hi, Gold. Um, how's the gearing? Like, really great. It's going really, really well. Oh my god, Kara's here! All the friendos just coming in. 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Central. That's... I guess, I guess that's the time when, like, people just join. Um, Chad, so I started this on Monday. This is, uh, this is episode two, obviously. I labeled my stream. Like, really, really good. Really good so far. Really liking it. Very happy with my choice. <clears throat> Yeah, full-time income is a good thing. It, it's true. I mean, ne a necessary evil. <clears throat> Sometimes I wish money wasn't a thing that we needed to have. Oh, shoot. Which way was I going? This way.
You remember this game is like command inputs. Um, maybe I'm like not quite that far. There was something that I got that was like put in, I put in things in a specific order. Maybe it wasn't a specific order, but like, I haven't, let's, let's take a look. Special options, maybe that's it. No, there's nothing there. Wait, what the hell's this? Oh my God, there's an escape. What does this do? Booster. I feel like I've missed a tutorial. <laughs> but maybe it's supposed to be trial and error? Just press buttons. Make mistakes. Yeah, okay, thank you, Dane. She doesn't know much yet. That's that's what you need to know. I don't know very much yet. Not about gears at least. I know a lot about a lot of different things, but not about gears. We have found the escape button. That's right. I uh, I didn't know it was there. I just found it. <clears throat> Kara, I'm almost done. I'm almost done Tifa's part of 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 the book. I made it to maybe like 170 last night before I got too tired. We're reading Traces of Two Pasts, which is the like Tifa Aerith backstory. There's an escape button. You usually fight everything I see. Well, I've been fighting everything that I see. <laughs> been meaning to read that. It's been really good so far. I'm only about halfway. That's 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 halfway-ish. But like Tifa being one of my favorite characters in Seven, I'm like really enjoying getting to know her more and and her backstory. So if you're at all interested in that, it's it's been a nice read so far. And yeah, I'm reading it kind of kind of with Kara, reading it with Kara. I had to put it on a bit of pause. I have um I'm in a second book club. And we have a meeting on Sunday, so I had to take the time to finish my book club book, which is which was um, A Gentleman in Moscow. However, the way it's sounding, speaking with my other book club members, it's sounding like I'm the only one who will have finished this book by the time of our meeting. So, okay, wait, I need to turn around. Can I just fall down here? Yes, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you're a big Seven fan, so it doesn't take much to convince you. It's a good book, Armando. If you're interested, I would recommend it. Charge. You've been reading another book at the same time? Yeah. I don't, I don't usually read multiple uh, physical books at the same time. I usually always have a physical book and an audio book going just because I read them at different times, right? Like I like to listen to an audio book when I'm doing like chores around the house or stuff like that. Holding laundry, listening to an audio book. Doing the dishes, listening to an audio book. Making dinner, listening to an audio book. Hey, Spring Wrinkles. How's it going? Happy Wednesday, friend. So, Gold, you've played this, I assume. Okay. This is the guy, and I'm supposed to go up here. Right? Wasn't that the hint? Go northwest of the robot thing? Pizzicato, hello. Are there genres I tend to play stream most? I mostly play RPGs here. You have made yourself, you have, you have found yourself in an RPG channel. That being said, I am open to game suggestions. Um, chances are I haven't played your most loved game. And most things, almost everything that I play here is voted in by chat. So, there is a vote down below for our next game. 
if you haven't had your say. Maybe now's the time to charge. I'm gonna charge. While they're doing one damage. It's either an audiobook or Let's Plays. I'm gonna charge. Isn't this isn't this a funny thing? Like you I would think that they might take this opportunity to run away. Like how do they see this ending well for them? I mean, I guess they're committed to their cause. You listen to a crap load of audiobooks when you had a long transit to work. Same. I used to do that. Um I used to drive 40-ish minutes to work every day. And I, yeah, I made it through a lot of audiobooks. A lot. You haven't played it, but you had a bot who loves RPGs. Oh, so you watched them play it. So it's kind of like you played it. You had the experience. You like my spicy hair? Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know if it, does it feel spicy? Is it spicy? The side braid is spice? Add a little spice? Okay. Um, so Steampunk are on mobile, it should be, there should be a little, like, oops, that was overkill. There should be a little button in the top right, like a little extension button, and if you press that, you should be able to see it on mobile. Charging. I'm gonna like maximize on this on this situation. Optimize. <laughs> hey, forgotten. Good morning. Oh, we had a wonderful stream last night. Do a quick heal here. Oh, did I need to do that? Okay, let's put him out of his misery. There's no way you could outrun, they could outrun you on foot. But I mean, if we just talked about it, I would let them go. Like, I have no quarrel with the sand people. <laughs> yeah, the punch stand, that was wonderful. Ah, uh, yes. Um, Forgotten is also playing Xenogears right now. They are, oh, there's the thing. They're much farther than I am. But I popped into their stream last night and they have a redeem that is like a... Oh, can I make that? Where do I go around? They have a redeem that is literally... Punching Dan on, on, on the stream. I'm going to try to make this jump. I think I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Got it. Disengaged. We've done it. Uh, you discovered audiobooks while driving, and then COVID happened, and now you're working from home for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely got through a lot more audiobooks when I was commuting, but I am very happy to not commute anymore, to be, to be honest. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna go back and talk to our boy, Ball. Because punching Dan shouldn't cost points, it should just happen. Oh boy. A lot of Dan hate. I mean, like, he was an annoying child. Does he come back? Wait, don't tell me. Does he come back? Like, surely he's not a significant character. He's just a child, old man child. An old man child with a with, with a very large forehead. Okay, I'm gonna save first. <laughs> yeah, that's not a flamingo question. I don't wanna know. Ah, oh, Gord, I'm sorry about your coffee. 
Extra protein? Okay. Go talk to the man. I touched your buttons. So every time... I mean, I guess they have kind of implied that you have to know how to um, drive these mechs. Or, like, it takes a skill to... Um, to drive them, to use them. It just feels weird to leave them like outside, but I guess it's kind of like a car. Like we have the keys, so hopefully no one steals my car. Oh, good timing. I was just about to open up the sand barrier now. I'm telling you, he's gonna be the white mage of the game. Dan is gonna join the party. Beep beep. Yeah, we got a. Did you lock your mech? Did you lock your mech before you walked away? Someone's gonna steal that. But also because there, it has been implied that at least the one that Faye is in is unique or like of great value, like it's a new model. So I could see people wanting to steal it. Well done, old man. Hi, Rinvello. Thank you. I know you can't, you probably can't see it very well. It's, it's, uh, it's Red 13. Red 13 shirt. Yeah. My day is going very well. How are you, friend? Our deal is done. Hey, old man, there's one thing I want to ask you. What is it? I've heard somewhere on this planet is a gear far superior to all others. I've heard that it was called the God Gear and was made in ancient times, but hidden away somewhere. Just, like, an interesting point um, on, like, grammar in this game, I suppose. They capitalize gear, but they don't capitalize God. And that feels intentional, and I think is very interesting. I don't know if that actually means anything in the long run. I just find that interesting. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> Praise gear. <laughs> A man-made god created with the wisdom of God. Such a gear would have the power of a thousand gears. In a wave of its arm, it could destroy whole cities. Its battle cries would thunder in the heavens. You must be speaking of the Omni Gear. Oh shit, the Omni Gear. You know of it? Then perhaps it was what you were speaking about in that tale you told us of the battle with God. Um, that God was only, capital only capitalized if referred to as a proper name. But what about this one? Like this phrase, the battle with God, like that seems like he's talking about a specific God. I don't, I don't know. Just a thought, just a thought, just something I noticed is all. Goodness gracious, you too, boy. Those stories were made to inspire men's soul, but they're just legends. They don't really exist. Anyway, allow me to take a look at your gears. Yeah, I. in that case, I, I would think that it would be capitalized. But even when, when Old Man Ball was talking about, was telling us all the God stuff, it was never capitalized. But gear seems to be always capitalized. It'll only take a little while, so please wait here. Just like, kind of, I, I don't know, the significance of each within this world, maybe? I'm sure. Hey, wait. Ah, uh, he's gone. Hey, Bart, do you think the gear in that story is buried in the ground somewhere? I think that's what I've heard. Could one of the gears we are using possibly be it? Oh, wait, is he, he thinks we have Omni gear? We have the Omni gear? Yeah, right. What are the chances of that happening? The gears that are excavated lately are usually only a few hundred years old. Nowhere nearly as old as the gear in that legend. Then why were they in the ground? I don't know. There are no records, except... Except what? There must be some truth in the tales that they were buried under the 
after the Great War. Oh, that's true. It could be a translation thing. Yeah, that's possible. I don't know. Just an idea. Just a thought. Just a thought is all. Probably improper grammar. Draw heavily from Kabbalistic lore. Thank you for the input, Scott. Main translator had a visual time with this game. Ah, okay. Okay. The bullet wounds covering most of the gear's armor would appear to confirm that. You mean that there are no records from the last several hundred years? How about before that? None from either period. The ethos controls all the records from that time period. Maybe they have some very ancient records, too. All we know about our history is from the little pieces that we find for ourselves. Anyway, Faye, what do you make of this old man? What do you mean? Why would such an old man live all alone in this abandoned cave? I, I don't know. Probably digging for ancient gears or something. Right. So you think so, too? Hey, I just said that as a joke. Don't take all this stuff seriously. They're only legends, you know. No, that old man is up to something. This can't be. What's wrong, old man? Is this your gear? Well, sort of. Where did you get it? I'm just borrowing it. Ah, oh, Faye, you should have hard committed. This is the host for the spirit of the slayer of God. Oh, shit. Wait a moment. What did you just say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. No, I heard you. You said slayer of God. That's what you said, isn't it, old man? Your gears are fixed. You have no more business here. This is a bad time for me. Be on your way. Be on our way? Listen here, old man. Are we gonna fight the old man? Hello, Saber. Oh, wait, no, we we just left? Okay. Okay. We just left, I guess. Is this what's gonna happen? Ah, this is the God Destroyer. Wait, what? Nah, nothing. Not important. Just a slip. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess maybe we're gonna slay a god. So, we're, I, I'm gonna assume, I don't know where that door was that he said. Oh, it was right here. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Here we go. Nice. I had not seen this door before we went in the man's house. A game's not a game until we kill a god, am I right? What's this? Can I use this? No? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Do I want to get on the gondola? I guess I do, don't I? Wait, what's this? What is that? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, bite. Oh, no. Wait, I want to try something. Wait, uh... Okay, ha This is an experiment. I want- I want you to know that I feel confident about winning this fight, but I've never pressed escape before, and I want to see what it does. Do they both need to escape? Is it a chance to escape? Okay, I don't know what that was. Nothing! And nothing happened. I'm also not sure what Booster does. I think it gave me fuel back. Anyways, uh, let's hit him with some guided shots. Wide 
Wild smile. This makes you attack faster. Oh, at the expense of more fuel per action. So kind of like haste, like a, a, a boosted haste or something maybe? Have a great shopping trick, Night Sprite. We're just gonna, we're gonna fireball this thing to death. Although I guess we could try and attack with Bart. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Hmm. Okay, there's a tutorial coming up. <laughs> um, did I upgrade my gears at balls? No. No. Was that the the option of like asking him what he had in stock? I did not ask him what he had in stock. If that's the thing. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could go... Can I go back? Did he want to talk to me again? Should I go back? Would recommend. I, I do have some money. I have some money. I got a lot of money, but I think I had some money. chickens doing they, they've got to grow fast right they're only gonna be like they looked new new in that picture you posted but chickens go pretty fast come on happens in a month. I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know if I would keep chick chickens. I like chickens enough. If they were, like, I mean, pet chickens are different than, like, farmed chickens. I don't think, my HOA doesn't allow them, though. Yes, okay, great. <laughs> but hey, you got any cool parts for sale? Just, I've got, I've got the cash if you've got the parts. But they wouldn't allow a duck then? Uh, absolutely, like, most definitely not. My HOA is very strict about pets. They won't, I can't even have a, a pig. Which I realize is a weird, um, weird sentence. I just really like pigs. And I've always kind of wanted to have a pet pig. Can't have a pig? How dare. I know, like, pet pigs are unpredictable as far as how large they're gonna, be gonna get. But they're so fucking nice. I just really like pigs. <laughs> they can eat your victims. Wait. What do, who do you think I am, Nico? Does the story still make sense? Uh, so far? Yeah, I, like, the only thing that's confusing is I think still meant to be confusing, right? Because we've had flashbacks into both Ellie's and Faye's life. Um... But I think the whole idea is that we're, I like, I'm not supposed to know that yet. Okay. Um, so you want me to see if he'll sell me some shit. 
Wait, did he leave? Where are you, old man? Old man. I told you to leave. Sell us some gear parts. When Calamity beats you, I'll just get these parts back anyway. If you don't mind that, then I'll sell them to you. Oh, uh, for gear? First, try changing the engine. Um, bye. Parts? I don't need that. Weapons? Tuna? Engine? What does this- what does this do? Six output, 1200 fuel. I mean, he told me to do the engine. I assume this is just gonna restore HP and fuel. Okay. Frame. This does my HP. How much money do I have? I have quite a bit. AR value 60. Should I just buy all these things? Yes. Okay, this is for... Yes. 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 Okay. Oh, I guess I should do these. Because I bought the new ones and our HP is more now. Okay, I uh, think I did a good thing. What else did he have, though? Wait, old man, can you t keep talking to me? Uh, sell us your gear parts. What was the other option? For characters. Oh, okay. Oh, those seem good. Blue source parties. Oh, a tent. Oh, I've got two tents. I'm gonna buy some of these. Okay. <laughs> Told you to leave. Uh, can you please just like sell us some shit though, please? First, before we leave, can we give us give you some money? That would be lovely. All right, now we are leaving. Wait, your uh, your aunt has a pretty pig that she keeps in the house. How big is it, Jackson? Everyone else wants to eat it. No, you don't eat your pets. I don't eat my pets. I mean, you can do what you want, I guess. Whatever is like falls within the laws of your of your of your country, of your state, of your whatever. I don't eat my pets. I'm just gonna draw the line right there. I think that's a fair line to draw. Uh, does this game have items that are meant for selling just like Xenosega has? Oh, like you mean kind of like the credit chips? I'm picking up a lot of those. The AR. Which way am I facing? This is the right way. I'm gonna take the gondola now. Oh! Oh! Yeah, we are very strong now. I. I mean, I feel a lot stronger. Oh, barter items. I do have some random stuff. Let's take the gondola. Two bros on a gondola. How do I take the gondola? These? Yes. 
<laughs> it looks like you're ready for the final boss now. Let's go. I don't even know who the final boss is. It's probably God. Oh, no. I have to leave my... I leave my mechs, my mech behind? That can't be right. That can't be good. Can't they go on the, the elevator? Oh, we're so small. What does this do? Ave excavation site, main power generator. Currently, the main power is off. Turn it on. Main power is turned on, operating normally. And okay, now I go back, cross, get back in our mechs. And then maybe I take the elevator? I mean, it wouldn't really matter if they were moon duck, would it? They can sit as close as they want to. Regardless. Does this work now? I'm just trying to use an elevator and I get into a fight. Okay, can I hit this now? No, we still do magic to this thing. Okay. <laughs> have you ever been on a gondola? I must have been on a gondola. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I was in a, on a gondola in Switzerland. I think I took a gondola to the top of a mountain. Best mechs forever? You're referencing the hot tub vine? I am not... I, I'm gonna let you know, Moon Duck. I'm not very cool. Um... I, I've never seen that video. I'm not, I'm not cool or hip, as they say. Um, sorry. <laughs> How's your day going, though? How was your day? Happy Wednesday. Welcome in. You're gonna murder this thing. I I actually can't believe how much stronger I am. With those uh small upgrades. Oh, you're not either? Okay, great. Perfect. You'll fit right in here. No one here is cool. If you're cool in chat, you need to out yourself right now. If the Andrews are cool, then who can say they are? No, I, I just, I feel like I, I miss, like, a lot of, uh, I don't know, pop culture references. Like, I need to watch more things, and, um... Yeah, we're playing a sci-fi RPG. We must be the coolest. Is that, that, that was the implication? 4 to 6 is 50 percent boost. Yeah, it feels, feels big. Wasn't it, was it 4 to 6? Were we not 3 before? Hey, Roris. Nice to see ya. Alright, let's get him. I'm using a lot of EP, though. Zero! On we hit a zero! It's only possible. I only recently made it possible. It used to be one, one to a hundred, but now it is zero to a hundred. So yes, you can be zero percent Steve. That's okay, it just means you're hundred percent Dave. There's no shame in it. 69% Steve. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and Moonduck, if you're wondering why everyone is now finding out how Steve they are, this is a this is a channel meme that you've walked into. Eyeball. Yeah, like, what do I do with these things? That's how you try to human. Uh... I guess we go down there? It's like a, like a mine shaft or something. Let's go down. What could go wrong? Is this is a platform. All right, save spot. Cool, cool, into it. 
Wait, you're a robot program with semi-randomized pop culture references. What is, what's the like most obscure one you've got? Platforming in an RPG is always odd. At least that did not feel like significant platforming. Like I could, there was no chance of death there, I suppose is what I mean. It was okay. Only 15? It's okay, everyone's gotta start somewhere. Um, speaking of pop culture references, I watched Spirited Away last night on uh, on your on chat's recommendation. I watched Spirited Dave's Away. Not here. Dave's not here. <laughs> it was a fucking trip. I don't. If you haven't seen that that movie, it's Yay! it's bonkers. It's like so creative. Like there are so many ideas in that movie as far as like character design um and just like it's just it was crazy Fuck you, Dwayne. okay this is your most obscure reference it's hard for me to watch american idol because there's a water bug on my channel changer yeah i have no idea what that's from that is very obscure though though i'm not a good I'm not a good um, sounding board for that, I suppose. What? What that? Is that a mech? A gear? Is that a gear? Look at the rockets on that thing. Suddenly very glad I saved. Hey, where did it go? Oh fuck, okay. I think we're gonna fight. You have to eat ramen every time you watch it because the food looks so good. Oh shoot, he's so large! He's so large! Uh... Oh, we've got him in a pincer formation though. I don't have any EP. Hmm. Let's just hit him. Sixty-five? That seems okay. Let's lower his accuracy. Oh, it's from 30 Rock. I did not watch all of 30 Rock. I only watched some of it. You wish you, they would remake this for new gen consoles? Does, do you think they will? Do you think this will ever get a remake remaster? How much, how much, how much did that hurt? We've got this. We've got this. 54. Oof. I heard somebody talking about it being caught up in a lot of copyright stuff. Is that true? I forget who said that. Or if I just read that in a Twitch chat somewhere. Okay, that really hurts. Uh, I think I should do... I can't believe this only does 10. A lot of grudges and rights issues. Uh, no. Let's do this. Let's do one. See how much damage it is. See if it's worth it. Otherwise, we should save our EP for healing. That is not worth it. Nope. We don't do that. We don't do that anymore. Has anyone told you the super weird factoid about this music track yet? This specific one? I don't think so. Thank you for the follow. Oh, 
special options. No, it's two discs. Yeah, it's only two discs. Calamity. Oh, this is Calamity. Oh, this is the thing the guy was like, Darth! Thank you! Oh no! The alert is below the game! There it is! I fixed it! My fault! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Thank you, Darth, for the sub! I really appreciate it! Are we okay? That really hurts. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna heal. Wait. Is this only a self heal? Okay, never mind. He can't heal his friend. I'm just gonna keep hitting. We just keep hitting. The voice in this song is saying, Total sentence imposed is 10 years in state prison. And it comes from the court trial. Wait, why would they sample that? That's a that's a weird thing to sample, isn't it? That feels weird to me. Best theory is that it was collected by some soundboard and used as a stock sound. I'm gonna try and listen for it now. Is it that it's that quiet background voice that I'm hearing occasionally? Maybe I should, maybe now's the time to do boosters. Let's do a booster. 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 for fuel. I think this is it. I think this is the strat. The haste. We needed the haste. That ro the robot is super thick. He's a he's a chonker boy. Or I, guess, I mean he's a robot. Or no, I mean he's a he's not a robot. There's someone I missed it again. Total sentence imposed to ten, is ten years in state prison. That's so weird. Always be hasting. If we can afford the fuel. Right, they're not robots, because the idea is that within each of these, like, there's a dude in there controlling this thing. Or are any of these, like, self... Like, the, but the one that was standing in the caves before, was there a person in there? I guess there was. If if there if it was a gear, right? That's how gears work. Gears must be controlled by humans. My confidence is um it's it's going down. I'm spending a lot of fuel and not doing as much damage as I wish I was. Two. And I'm taking big hits. When this thing hits, he hits for like 400 and something. And the heals seem to be... Like, we only heal for like 50 at a time, which is just shit. Does this stack? I don't know if that stacks.
Do I like anime? Nondescript. I am only just beginning my anime journey. Only just beginning. Um, I was saying I watched Spirited Away last night, and last week I watched Your Name. And I've been watching Violet Evergarden as a series. So I'm only just starting my anime journey. Traditionally, not an anim anime watcher, but I'm trying. Oh, that hit for zero. Oh, that must be the, the evasion thing. I really liked your name. I liked your name better than Spirited Away. Just, I like the style of the story better. But Spirited Away felt more geared to a younger audience because they didn't go as deep into, um, like, getting to know the characters and feeling emotionally involved. It was more fun and, like, visually appealing. Hey, Justin. Best JRPG ever? And I, I don't, I don't know about this. This doesn't feel like winning. I'm spending a lot of fuel. Do more of that, please. Yeah, there is, in the TV channel of my Discord, we have a, uh, a, an anime recommendation file going for my education. Evergarden makes you cry an average of 2.5 times per episode. Um, I am not, I'm not really a crier. Uh, no, I like movies and TV and stuff like that. Like real life makes me cry. <laughs> real life makes me cry. Um, but not a lot of, of pop culture media makes me cry. But I'm liking where it's going. If you liked your name, you should watch Weathering With You. Okay, is it like similar vibes, similar emotional vibes? I don't know how to heal this. I don't know how to heal Bart. But we are out of fuel. And I don't know what to do about that. I, I'm just, I have to keep hitting it until we're really, really out of fuel. And then we're gonna charge. Hmm. I think it's kind of weird that Bart's taking all the hits. Why is Bart taking all the hits? Why doesn't this dude hit me? Cupid, enjoy your lurk. I hope your, your day is going very well. working. I mean, we haven't seen a game over screen yet, so maybe this could be it. He's not even, like, doing the sad thing where he seems like he's, you know, dying, so... And I don't- I can't unhaste. I- like, I don't think this haste was a bad idea, necessarily. But it is using all of my fuel up. Hey, Polly! Hello, happy Wednesday. How's it going? We're fighting a big, big monster. Well, big, big mech, I guess. Big, big gear. I can turn off boost! Oh, it's okay, though! It's okay! Yay! We did it! We did it! Phew.
Whether or not he was a very similar movie, instead you'd recommend watching something completely different. Like, like take a break and, and, and watch, I don't know, just try out different, different animes. Goodbye, Dane. Have a good day. Thank you for hanging out for so long. I hope to see you again soon. Jason's here. Hello, Jason. Hi. Um, Polly, how's it going? How's it going? How was, how was, um, the entirety of your stream yesterday? All morning you're training a junior developer. Your extroverted energy is now gone. It's time to, like, like, pull into yourself and recharge. That's, that's fair. I completely understand that. I definitely hit a point of, I have socialized enough. Now it's me time. Now it's shut up and, 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 like, do my own thing time. All right. Huh. What an idiot. Trying to scare us with all show and no power. Eh, Faye, you got like really, really hurt, Bart. Really, really hurt. Who are you talking shit? Anyway, looks like that's the exit. So I'll be, I'll, it'll soon be adios to this old cavern. Oh, fuck. What the? This is what Bart gets for talking shit. Flip Charlie, how is this game? Really good. Really good so far. I don't know if you've played this, but it's really good so far. What the? Get out of the way, Bart. Oh, what is this? You could have been doing that this whole time. Where did that come from? Woo, what the hell did you just do? Doesn't know. Hey. Huh? What do you mean, huh? What in blazes was that? Don't you know? Uh, no. I, uh... I, I don't know. That was incredible. You just blew that huge thing to pieces. Why didn't you use that technique a bit earlier? Hmm. Hmm, agreed, Bart, agreed. I don't know that technique. I have no idea how I even did it. Hmm. Ah, well. I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. Oh, does he want to fight now? But didn't he say he, was, he wanted to fight once we got out of the cavern? So, now that we've got rid of that nuisance, let's get out of here. Eh, Faye? You love that he's that he's southern, yeah. I I I wasn't sure how long he was gonna stick around for, but I'm committing to this accent. I'm committing to it. All right, where am I? We came. Where did we come from? We came from up. So I think this is. Did we come from up? Maybe this is the way out. Yeah, that looks like a way out. Let's go. Oh, fuck, fuck. Jumping's hard. We made it. All right. How are you today, Sierra? Nice to see you. And decides if I love these these raccoon emotes. Hannah. Who's Hannah? Nocturnal Hannah. They're cute. They're very cute. Are gears scientifically possible? I mean, I guess we could, like, why not? We could build big mechs for people to control. Yeah? Like, as far as I know, or I guess I don't know these answers. As far as I know, they're all, like, controlled by humans, right? They're not, they're not acting on their own capabilities? 
I think there's a person in all of them. That's a good point, Larwood. That is a good point. Different genres and such. Try out, try out different things. Try out different things. Scientifically expensive. <laughs> wow. I never thought we'd end up here. Where are we? You see the Twin Mountains way over there? That's where Bledovic, the royal capital of Ave, and Fatima Castle are located. Currently, there's no king living there, though. Anyway, that's my old hometown. Hometown? I'd like to go ahead and settle our dispute, but considering how close we are to the capital of Ave, we'd probably get caught. Hey, stop looking so glum, chum. I guess I'll have to get your, you back to your old friend soon, or you'll die from fretting or something. <laughs> anyway, the rendezvous, po the rendezvous point with the Yggdrasil is right over there. Don't worry, you'll be meeting your friend in no time at all. Japan built one. This, like, to this scale? That's huge! Oh yeah, heck yeah, Jackson. Take care of yourself. Have a good bike ride. Yes. Yes, they did. <laughs> the thought of someone so country being able to pronounce Yggdrasil correctly is hysterical. <laughs> hey, I was worried about you. Doc. <laughs> I mean, it's Japan. Of course they do. Welcome to the sand cruiser Yggdrasil. We apologize for that earlier incident. This guy looks like a butler. He's giving me huge butler vibes. His name is Mason. Maison. He's French. Maybe he's French. Oh no, is he French? I'm sure everyone has already had the courtesy of introducing themselves. Eh, I don't know about that. But allow me to introduce the Sand Pirates leader, Master Bartholomew. Yes, I, I do know that. I do know that. By the way, may I ask, young master, did you apologize to Master Faye? Everyone, just pick your favorite accent. I'm gonna try a, a bunch one, a bunch of different ones for this guy. What? Uh, yeah. I told him I was wrong, right? Just telling someone you were wrong after the event isn't going to solve anything, young master. New Zealand. I'm sorry I've delayed introducing myself. My name is Sigurd, the first mate of this sand cruiser. Well then, please let me know if you need anything. Yeah, you see, and that's a good call. That's the situation. So now, forgive me, will ya? Young master, stay out of mischief. Ouch, 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 don't pull my ears. Let us go and wait in our cabin until we arrive. It is well made and comfortable. All the things. A <laughs> robot voice? What is wrong? You look down. All right, let's do a hydrate. And a big stretch. No, well. Ooh. All right, thank you. Thank you, friends. Taking care of me. Now, also be taking care of yourselves, please. Everybody stretch, everybody hydrate. Do it. Something happened. No, nothing. Liar. What a liar. Oh God, we're tiny. Oh shoot. Can I save here? Nope. Okay. Maybe I should take a bigger look around? We're exploring. Who's this guy? This door leads to the hall. Okay. 
Do I want to go to the hall? Oh, this door. I feel like we're just going rogue exploring this ship. This is where we rest. Do you want to rest too? Uh, yeah. It's a little messy, so bear with it. We'll do a rest. We deserve a rest. <laughs> See ya. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break here and um, and use the facilities. We'll be right back with more. Please enjoy the channel trailer. Be right back. Wait. That's interesting, because Buttspot... That's not the first time Buttspot has won. Buttspot is just very good at... at Battle Royales. Okay, so we just rested. Are any of you interesting? We're almost at the base. Phew, finally we can rest. My daughter is waiting for me at the base. It's been so long since I've seen her, so we're going to spend a lot of time together. I have rested. Let's go back to exploring the Yggdrasil. Oh, this looks like a nice... Oh my god, what is that? That looks cute. Look at the little penguin! Penguins exist in this world! I love him. Okay, I don't know who's, whose room this is, though. I feel like I'm intruding. What? Why am I here? Well, never mind that. It's not like I'm hiding the fact that I broke the wall or anything. Oh, and by the way, you can go through this door to the gun room or go down the stairs to the engine room. All right. This guy broke the wall and is guarding the gun room. Oh, there's a save point in the gun room. Well, let's use that. I assume I'm supposed to be going to like the, 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 uh, I don't know, where you drive the ship from? Oh, there's a, wait, there's a bar in the gun room? I don't know about that. Can we get a drink? I hope you are not taken back. Lately, there are far too many bar barbaria. I mean, highly energetic lads around the young master. So yours truly, who is in charge of education, demanded to have this room created. But because of that, I ended up having to take a side job. How may I be of service? Oh, oh, he's a store? Oh, wait, Satan's so in my party? Interesting. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have any of these things. Well, equipped. Oh, I have a question. This is a flamingo question. If you know the answer, you can say it. Um, I'm seeing while I'm in this store, I'm getting like little E's to show me that people have these things equipped. Now, it's also not like, I guess my question is, will it show me that these things are better, like with like a, like a little arrow up or arrow down, like this is better than you have what you have equipped, or this is worse than what you have equipped. Something like that. <gasps> Spam! What the, what the heck? What did you just do? Um, Spam, thank you for the gift sub to butt hair. I don't know how you know them. I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask how you know them, but thank you so much for the gift sub. I really appreciate that. And um, I really appreciate butt hair. Yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything right now. 
The color of the E will change if it's an upgrade or a downgrade. That's what I was kind of thinking. It was something like that. I don't know. Ho hooray for butt hair? I hope I can be of such service again. You and butt hair dated in college. Oh, but you've since you've since parted ways. You 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 dabbled into butt hair, and now you're you don't need butt hair anymore. You've moved on to bigger and better things. Maybe different types of hair. I'm sure. I couldn't use these stairs. Oh yes, I can use these stairs. Oh my god. Who designed this room? Well, I've gone downstairs. <laughs> Parted with the butt hair. Oh, you're so close! You did not shave the med of your life. Well, you know, butt hair, it comes and goes. Comes and goes. Sometimes it comes and goes. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day, though, spam. Thank you for the gift sub. Did you nair them out of your life? <laughs> uh, these are just rooms. There's nothing interesting here. I can see the hallway goes this way, but holy shit, I can't see what I, where I'm going. Oh. Oh, this is good. This is the engine room. Once again, final checks. Every second counts. The young master forever. When we had an end, when, when we had engine trouble a long time ago, the young master jumped in to fix it. Sigurd tried to help the young master, and they both ended up injuring one eye. We are proud of the young master, but he sometimes rushes into things. The chief thinks it's all his own fault. But hair? Can't wait to watch that one later. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be great! Okay, I'm gonna go up and talk to this guy who seems... Uh... Amateurs don't belong here, so get lost. Oh, I'm sorry! Alright, I can follow the rules. I can follow the rules. Anytime someone mentions Nair, you just think, Who wears short shorts? Okay. Is that a dog? Does this dog work here? He works here. Okay, I don't think I have anything. Look at him. Look at him. He's in charge of this. Shit. This is the best dog. <laughs> the dog holds rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good dog. Okay, I don't know if there's anywhere else I can go down here. So I guess we're gonna go back up. I feel really awkward having to navigate this. This map situation. Okay, but now we know where the store is and a save point. Oh. Well, okay. Accidental elevator usage. I don't know where I'm going. And this ship was big, too. Oh, another save point. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll save and, and talk to these people while we're here. Seems smart. We're almost at the hat out. Oh, that's it. We're almost at the hideout. <laughs> we'll probably stop there for a while for supplies and repairs. My, I'm not in charge, right? This is just happening. This is a cutscene. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy the cutscene. I think. I should test my buttons. No, I'm not in charge. Look at her go!
I think that music's really nice too. It kind of that that song specifically really reminds me of um Legend of Dragoon. That's what that song makes me think. So we made it to the secret hideaway. Hideaway. Is it a secret? I mean, it's a hideaway. It's got to be a secret. happy to see us. Maybe. Hopefully. Bart, good to see you back. Welcome back, Bart. Welcome back. Bart, what did you bring us? Well, you got a new model gear and two people that we helped out. Uh, a gear? How boring. Don't you have anything more interesting? I thought you'd say that. Look, this amber I found in a stalactite cavern under the desert. It's a rare find, or it's rare to find one with a bug in it. Oh shit, are we, is this how Jurassic Park happened? I've seen that documentary. Wow, thanks, Gart. We got some amber. What's that? Although dinosaurs are real, we already fought a dinosaur in this game. Let's go, we gotta show this off to everyone. Well then, I'm gonna tune up my gear a little. Why don't you two go have some, some tea with old Maison? <laughs> like you said, documentary. I've seen it, I've seen it. Thanks, old Maison. Please, walk this way. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. There are extinct dinosaurs, those are the ones Right. Yes. Hopefully we picked a, a good bug. A good amber bug. <laughs> Documentary. This is the res residential section. Walk this way. I am in charge. Following Maison. It does kind of make sense for the butler's name to be House. I think. I think it makes some sense. This is the dining hall. I'm sure. Sorry, it is so gauche. Please, take a seat. Perhaps you would like some of my famous tea, Master Fay, good doctor? He didn't even... Uh, this is magic? He didn't touch the mug. He didn't pick it up, it just went to his mouth. Young visitors are rare indeed. The young master must keep very happy. If things were normal, we wouldn't be living in the desert, but rather back in the royal palace. Hello, Tom. Royal palace? You mean that young one is connected to the young, or to the old Fatima dynasty? Pardon? N no. I am just a senile old fool who talks too much. 
pay no attention to what I just said. <laughs> but that one-eyed youth does have a certain bearing. Oh, oh, well spoken, sir. Awfully good of you to notice. If I may, I would like to tell you, the young gent is the last forgotten reminder of the once proud Fatima dynasty. That is, before it was destroyed by Shakan's minions. Prince Bartholomew Fatima. <laughs> Bartholomew? Edbert. Edbert the Fourth's successor? I'm sure they announced Bartholomew died of an illness 12 years ago. Officially? Yes. However, in reality, we rescued the young prince from Shakan's evil grasp. Then why must the prince, the rightful heir, resort to piracy? Since fleeing here, we have had only one wish. That the young master will grow up to be a great man. Not to reclaim the throne. That is correct. Of course, to say we have absolutely no desire to restore his rule would be a lie. We have plans for that as well. And the part of those plans would include... And part of those plans would include piracy. Well, yes. But there is a reason for that. Both Ave and Kislev are devoted to excavating the ruins. Each country's strength is increasing daily. Even if we could get the help of all our comrades to start a revolution, the combined strength of us all would still not be enough. Xenia, hello! Hope you have a great day. Thanks for popping in for just a little bit. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, friendo. We would certainly be suppressed by Shakan's guards in no time at all. We needed power. We tried excavating the ruins using the Yggdrasil, but it didn't work as well as we expected. Excavating requires tremendous amounts of, tremendous amounts of time, labor, and capital. The best we could do with our sand cruiser is find small items in the sand. And the piracy. Regardless of who gains the ruins technology, one thing is certain. Both Kislev and Ave will simply use that power to oppress each other. <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> we, we just do the piracy for fun. It's just a small, a small, nice little add-on. Um, I agreed with the young master's idea of creating a new power to balance things out a little. For the lulls. <laughs> I see. It is far more effective to plunder from the shadows than to excavate, excavate the technology oneself. Of course, pillaging is an unpardonable act. However, for Ave, for Ignis, to continue like this. I'm sorry if it sounds rather self-righteous. That is something which outsiders like ourselves cannot comment upon. From what you have told me, I feel that the result of what you are doing will be good. Seeing your children here tells me that. I am much relieved by, wo by your words. Another cup of tea? Yes, please. Thank you. Ma it's magic. It's magic tea. Magic mugs. I need one of those. I would like a mug that I just sit on my table and it comes to my mouth and serves me the beverage. Where do we get this? Hi, Faye. You mentioned you had plans. Why have you not put them into action? With Miss Margie imprisoned, we dare not do anything. She would not happen to be Nissan's. You are well informed, my dear doctor. She is the great mother Marguerite of Nissan, and the young master's cousin as well. Why would Shakan take her captive? <laughs> Self-driving cars? How about self-drinking mugs? <laughs> it's not, it's not flavory, it's magic. 
I want slavery, I want magic. Ooh, self-filling beer mugs, now there's an idea. Imagine if you never had to get up, your mug was just always full. <laughs> Playing an RPG about giant zombie robots and you're pressed by a magic mug? I am, look, I am. I want it, I need it in my life. For the Fatima Jasper. The Fatima Jasper? That is said to show where the great treasure is. My good doctor, you do not you do know an awful lot. I am most impressed. Walking to the fridge is called exercise. I do I don't need it. You do not like my tea, Master Faye. No, I'm just not thirsty now. Well, we have no idea what the great treasure actually is. But it is said to be strong enough to save our kingdom, if it is ever in plight. Is the... Okay, here's my speculation right now. <laughs> Walking to the fridge is unintentional grinding. That's funny. That's wonderful. I love that. And consider yourself pinned. Um, what if the big thing they're looking for is, is the mech that I have right now? What if that's true? Maybe that's true? We'll see. And Marguerite has the Jasper that tells the location. Jasper. Only half of it, to be precise. The young master and Miss Marguerite each have half. Only by combining the two halves will anyone know where the treasure is. What exactly is the Fatima Jasper? Thank you, Rifem. When you say a half of the Jasper, I imagine some kind of necklace. Only the heirs to Ave and Nissan know what it really looks like. <laughs> the real treasure is the friends we meet along the way. That's so true. That's very true. But I don't think, I don't think we're trying to dig them up. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So that is why they have her locked up. My guess is that when they do find out, her chances of living are not... Ah, I apologize. I simply mean... I was only supposing the worst case. Please do not take it to heart. No. That is a terribly realistic scenario. Ahem. What exactly do you mean by great treasure? Well, I haven't the foggiest. The gear? He means the gear. It has to be it. Wait, who said that? Bart! Young master, are the gears all right? Yeah. Even though they were sealed, sand's gotten into the joints. It's a pain in the neck to fix, so I'm having the crew take care of it now. My job is just to pilot them anyway. Besides, I'm bad with machines. So I'd just get in the way. Young master. Tea? What is in this tea? He's trying to- he's pushing tea on everyone. Anyway, what were we talking about? Whether the great treasure could be... a gear? Oh, yeah. You know, something like that is a dream in one of the Ave picture scrolls. Is drawn. Something like that is drawn in one of the Ave picture scrolls. Picture scrolls. Well, if you're interested, let's go to the planning room. I'll show you what I mean, since you're my special guest. That sounds interesting. Okay, I don't know where that is. What's in the tea, Maison? Um, oh. Does the character have Kate Sis voice that? No. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, I don't, obviously I don't really know. But you see this guy here? Behind chat? Maybe that thing gets to be Kate Sith. You look tired. Maybe shopping will perk you up. Even though they're Bart's friends, I have to charge them. What do you want? Uh, oh, what do you got? What do you got? Six. I 
I could buy one of those. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. Oh, no. There are so many things. Prevents loss of armor def. Stops fuel leaks and drainage. We can have fuel leaks? Protects gear's engine. Protects camera damage. Increases response. I'm not really sure what that means. Iron G whip. Should we get a should we get a G whip? A G whip? Whip. It does attack six. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, sorry. Engine? That's what I have. Oh. I could do this. This is a marginal increase. There may be an obvious choice later. I'm gonna do this. Oops. Yeah, I just, I don't know enough about these things. Like, wait, let me menu for a second. Let me, let me look, let me take a look. So currently, um, currently we have no weapons equipped in our gears. Is that, is that right? That's what that looked like. So maybe I'll buy one of those. Two of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Any, uh, a weapon is better than not having a weapon. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll just buy, that's half my money. Uh, and I don't know if, I don't know if Bart's has one or not. I'm just gonna buy one. Okay, and let's put that on. I'm following my heart. As per always. Okay, equipment, weapons. Wait, weapon? How? What? Wait, what? Was that not a mech weapon? Was it just a me weapon? That was a mech weapon. Am I, am I doing, where did it go? Help, help, where did it go? I could see the red number. So does that mean it can only go on Bart's thing? Oh, it was only for Bart. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I still bought one. Good thing I only bought one. I almost bought two. Can you imagine? Uh, child. <laughs> yeah, buying one was enough. That's all we needed. We have a G whip now for Bart. Um, they wanted me to meet them somewhere. They didn't tell me where it was though. <laughs> Oh no, that's not it. Do we have, but do we have G fuel? Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, it's gotta be up here, right? Surely. Oh no, that's a down. Not sponsored yet, yet. This place is incredible. They probably do not even have equipment like this in the capital. Heh, <laughs> surprised? All this technology thanks to Sig. Hey, Faye. 
Don't stand on the screen. We won't be able to see. Oh. All right, man. Display my special file on the main screen. What is this? Picture scroll, nearly 500 years old. This is King Fatima one. The, let's just, no, let's, let's rewind that. This is King Fatima the first. Body cloaked in flame, making a blood oath with giants. They say he used the strength of the giants to found Ave. It is amazing that such an ancient scroll exists and in such good state too. I, I thought e the ethos controlled all such things as these. Normally, yes. But this was one of my father's prized possessions. Next. After founding the country, Fatima forced the giants into slumber to protect his kingdom's people if needed in the future. But we don't know where they are hidden. In another record, one of the giants is called the Great Fatima Treasure. Okay. What about the Jasper? Hey, you sure know a lot. Perhaps you're one of Shakan's spies? Of course not. It is only an intellectual interest. Just kidding. It appears that Jasper is the key to finding our treasure. A key? Could that be what Shakan is looking for? Not just him. Gabler is also looking for it. Really? Then we must rescue Marguerite as soon as possible. You're telling me. Hey, he just gave me shit for standing on the screen, and then he goes and stands in the middle of the screen himself. So many organizations. Hey, Ghost, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Since, we're hel since we helped you, I was wondering, could you in turn, could I in turn ask you a favor? Would that be for us to help you rescue her? Brat boy, that's exactly it. I heard from Sigurd. It seems that both Ave and Kislev are after you. So we can help you and you can help us. How about it? It's not much to ask. Well, if it pays for my room and board, then I will help in any way I can. What do you think, Faye? You have not said anything for a while. Yeah, you are great back there in that stalactite cavern. Your strength alone is greater than 10 or 20 of Shakan's guards. I'd love to have your power on my side. Why does everyone want to make me fight? Uh, huh? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Hey? I just don't feel like it. I love to have my power? Love to have my power? I don't have any. What's wrong with you, Doc? Everyone, you're driving me to the brink. Then there's that gear. Graf and my father. I don't have the time to help you out with your problems when I've got enough of my own. Oh, shit. I, but we just got a whip. Classes are done. Congratulations. Do you just have finals now? When do your finals start? Hi Bahamut, nice to see you. The game is going very well today. We're doing a lot of doing a lot of lore right now. Oh no finals. Well, like extra congrats to you then. How's it feel? Feeling good? What's with him? Is he always that short tampered? No, that's not it. I'm sorry. Things have happened so fast that he has not had time to deal with it all yet. Try to understand. He is going through a lot. Like, he ruined a city. He doesn't remember his past. People think he, like, yeah, he recently destroyed a village. Like, things are pretty heavy for Faye, let's say. We're gonna help service the gears now. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, are those kids actually going to help?
Maybe I should have gone with him. Oh, maybe I should have gone with him. Wait. Is the elevator coming back? Oh, I want to. I want to go. What happened to Ellie? So the doc convinced Ellie to walk away in the middle of the night uh, while we were camping in the forest, and she just she left. We haven't seen her since then. I so I don't know what happened to Ellie. I'm gonna do this. Bart's room, my room. Enter and die. I've already lost everything. Now I have an iron whip, but I just had an I just bought an iron G whip. <gasps> Who is this picture of? A little boy and a girl? Oh fuck. That that's going to give us away. Oh no. Oh, G equals gear. Wait, so is that just a weapon weapon then? No. Maybe it's also only for Bart. Wait, no, not screw you, Bart. I... Oh, watch, he's gonna be right out here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's not a good hiding spot. Boy, what's up with this fey guy? Oh my god, he's in plain view. What's happening? How come he doesn't see me? Why doesn't he see me? I try and become his friend, and he suddenly explodes in anger. Well, looks like he's got a lot on his mind. I don't want to force him, but he would be fun to fight. Maybe I'll ask him again. If I lie in wait under the elevator. Okay, we're super sneaky. We are the sneakiest. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. It's the hair, it's the hair and the eye patch. That's why he couldn't see me. Well, I know he's down there, so we are gonna go down there, I think. He rolled a one on perception. He crit failed. Crit failed his perception. But yeah, let's save. This sounds nice. Um, we are emulating today, Bahamut. We are emulating. I do not have this on PS1. Uh, and the cheapest copy that I saw was $100. So. Bart always rolls a one on perception. Oh, I don't actually want to do this. I'm going to go down the elevator. Double D&D &D this weekend. Enjoy. I don't have D&D &D again until next weekend. Yep, let's do it. Let's go down. Get ready for an ambush. Yeah, yeah. You're sitting on money there, Jana. Sitting on money. That was on. That was on eBay. So. Unless they have the physical copy. I mean, if I had the physical copy, if, it, if I could have gotten it for... Like, I, I bought Tactics. We didn't emulate Tactics until after... Until after my disc start, stopped working. Um, if I had an actual copy, that would be wonderful. But that's a little bit out of my price range, unfortunately. Can I have a second? Okay, do you want to fight? Satan told me... All about your story. Did you want to talk about it? Why didn't you tell me? It sounds pretty rough. Listen, I'm sorry for being a jerk just now. Forgive me, will ya? I thought he wanted to... Okay. Whoa. Anyway, sorry to bring it up again, but... No. What? I don't like fighting like you do. I only got into that gear because I had to. I'd rather not ride them. If you want that gear so much, then you can have it. I don't want it. Huh, yeah. You think I lack fighting? Is that it? 
don't you? Sure looks that way. It looks like the only thing you do is enjoy fighting. The only thing you enjoy is fighting. I can't let that slide. Who likes fighting? Take it back. Like it or not, I fight because I have to. I got my reasons, but you wouldn't understand. Well, I don't have a reason to fight. I don't want to fight. I just want to live in peace and quiet. But you people keep on hounding me to get into the gear. Why don't you just leave me alone? Ooh, it's a little late, though. It's a little late for that. It's because I see your skill and think, well, I hate it. Whenever I get into gear, people get hurt. If I fight, people die. I don't want to hurt people. I don't want anyone to die. I hate it. Can't you see that? Ghost, he doesn't want to get in. He doesn't want to kill people. Yeah, I know the feeling of just wanting to run away from reality. But do you think the kids left behind in your village would understand? Satan told me that happened in Lahan. Satan told me what happened in Lahan. Would it have been better if you had done nothing? Sure, that happened because you were in the gear. But even if I hadn't, even if you hadn't, people would have died, right? You weren't the reason. War, no. The people that started the war are the reason. And unless you get rid of the reason, nothing will change. I fight to get rid of the reason. Right now, there is no other way, so I have to fight. But that doesn't mean I enjoy it. I understand why you would feel guilt towards the kids in your village. And I know why you don't want to harm others. But if you want to make it up to those children, don't you have to fight? Do you have a reason to fight? Or you do have a reason to fight. A reason you must fight. But as long as you ignore it and continue to run away, those kids will never forgive you. Just remember that. And another thing. I'm not saying that I'm not help that not helping me is running away. You don't have to help. This is my own problem. I don't want to get you in this against your will. <laughs> Her voice for Bart, yeah, Bart Southern. I made Bart Southern. Also, hello, Casual, and hello, Black Anima. Welcome in. Welcome in. Faye, get in the robot. Faye, just do the fighting. It's your gear, Faye. But if I had your skill, I could bring all of this to an end and make it up to those kids. At least that's what I think. Anyway, sorry to hold you up. The mechanic wanted to talk to you about your gear. You probably don't care now, but at least hear what he has to say. Is my gear in here? We left it in here. Do it for the children. For the children! Oh, was that right? Okay, I think this is right. If you killed everyone in, you loved in the village, including Atlas, would you still want to fight? No, I, I get it. Like, it makes sense. I, I understand his, like, mixed emotions and kind of... I didn't mean to talk to you. But this is funny. It's not like I'm being made to stand here as a punishment for not obeying lights out or anything like that, is it? Beyond the store is the gear hanger. Gears are so big that you'll have that you'll look very small and you might get lost. That's cute. Yeah, like Faye has been through a lot. This game started hot. And like not only has he have we been through a lot with him, but he had all those those crazy flashbacks, right? So like shit's going on. Wait, I thought my gear was in here. Wasn't it in one of these bays? Did they move it? I thought I left it here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I should have talked to that guy. Can I get back up? This is the gear shop. Look inside if you want to tune up your gear. I mean, yes, but also... Where is my gear? Maybe these people know. Hello. 
Hey, did you see this month's edition of Gear Fan Magazine? They say hovering is all the rage right now. Until a while back, it used to be special equipment that only the young master had equipped on his gear. I would like to hover, please. That gear with the slender build withstood brig Brigandier's rod. What kind of armor did they use to cover it? Do you have hover? What do you want to do with your gear? Okay, well now I'm curious. Increases defense, increases agility in the desert. I could see that being useful. Maybe. None of these allow me to hover. Oh, wait, no, these are both for... Oh, I bought this one and this one's way better. Is it? I mean, it's more expensive. That means it's better. It's fine. Wait a minute. Do I have... No. Okay. So my gear is not in here, is it? Where is it? Where does this go? Nowhere. Well, haven't gone this way yet. Because I can't. Okay. It said talk to the engineer, right? Talk to the engineer. Does the engineer just, uh... Was he just outside the ship? Oh, I can't go that way. I can only go the one way. Fair enough. Let's see what you have to say. This door leads to the hall. Right. Of course it does. I guess I leave again. I guess I leave again. Maybe the engineer is just out here. Full rudder. Yes, sir. Did you hear anything about it? No, about what? Oh, really? That's nice. Phew, I'm safe. What? I'd like to try and drive this thing once. Oh. They've got secrets. There's secrets happening. I don't know where my thing is. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe it's over here. What do you have to say? All right, all right. Off your butts and back to work. Yes. Oh, yes. Gear hanger. I would like to go to the gear hanger. Isn't that just where I was? Oh, look at, look at my thing. This is my thing. This is my thing. All right, here we go. Talk to me. Looks like someone really knew how to tune up your gear. Attack, defense, ether amplification, an exceptionally balanced machine. But we don't seem to be able to dismantle some parts to see what they do. I guess you could call them black boxes. Oh, that's suspicious. There are quite a number of them on this machine. Do you have an idea what they actually do? No. <laughs> hey. Sigurd, Doc, what's up? We would like to have a word with you. 
<laughs> yeah, black boxes. This machine does things that we don't know about. Maybe it's like those special, the special ability that I uh, busted out at the end of that one fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look over there. Okay. Hey, Dad, can you hear me? Ever since I first looked into Faye's eyes, I knew. He's the same as me. He'd understand me, or so I thought. Did I just imagine it? I have no confidence. If I follow after you, Dad, it'll just be like I'm in I'm some decoration. At the moment, I can't even carry out your will, let alone rescue Margie. I told him he was only running away, but I'm really the one who wants to run away. The young master asked me to apologize to you. Pretty strange, huh? He knows it's best to apologize in person, but the young master isn't all that good at this sort of thing. He may not look it, but he's really quite lonely. He's always searching for a friend. We're his minders. Can't become his friends. We could be his best friend. We could do it. Even if we wanted to. He just wouldn't see us that way. He knows that. Why, you ask? It's because of the burden that he bears. It must be difficult for one so young to carry so heavy a responsibility. Friends? Yeah, let's be friends. But he does try his best, you know. That is why we stick by him. It has nothing to do with him being the prince. Fay, I sense you too are carrying a heavy burden. This might be a selfish request, but would it be possible for you to help the young master? I'm not asking you to burden yourself with his problems or responsibilities, but could you two, with whatever it is, only you two each know, help each other, please? I'm sorry, I need time to think. Of course, take your time, it's completely up to you. What if we say no, is that credits? GG's? We no help, GG's. Whatever you decide, we'll be leaving early tomorrow morning. After you're finished preparing for tomorrow, you should probably get some rest. You can use the bedroom in the residential area above. I wish to speak to Sigurd some more, so you go ahead and get some rest. Current supply status, 60%. That's a callback, Sian. Uh, go up. Okay, so that, they were just like, uh, yo, if you need to buy stuff to get ready to fight, now's the time. Do I need stuff? Otherwise, I rest, and then tomorrow we make the decision whether we need to help. I mean, we're, we're probably going to help, right? Residential area above. Where does this go? Oh, this was like the... Oh, I don't want to... I feel like I'm interrupting their conversation. That was Bart's room. That goes outside. Oh, there was another door here. Right, this. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's save. Save and then sleep and then decide our fate. Make decisions, go touch things, exactly. 
Where was the guy? Does this guy let me sleep? Did you forget anything? Oh, I think I'm fine. I don't really know. Maybe I should have done some shopping. But we're here. Let's just have a rest. I'm so very tired. Choose not to fight, get early game over. Wait, is it a game over? Uh, I mean, it would be a game over. What is that noise? It sounds like drilling. Wait. Am I in a mech? Is this from the point of view of a mech? Oh shit, who are you? Who are you? Confirmed. This is their base, all right. That rock was easy enough, was easy to break through. I thought it would be a little harder. These surface dwelling lambs sure live in a nice place. Look at that. They built this place far better than the facilities at Bledovic. It's probably a hidden fort built when their old king was still around. Who cares? Let's just get this over and done with. Aw, uh, Vance seems like a asshole. So, where are the gears? Fuck. Over here. To the right, there's a hangar. It, this isn't- this hasn't woken anybody up? Nobody? Wait, where is this? It, found them. These are deer mods. They're standard pirate gears. Ah, ignore those. We can take them out fast. Why not take a few? Even if we only get those, it was worth sneaking in. Sneaking? If this is sneaking? They would have been so loud. All right, shrapnel is now in place at the back. Wait, that didn't say shrapnel. Shapiro? One of their names. Get ready to take out anything that gets in our way. Prep complete. Okay, over here. Anytime is fine. Go! Oh, fuck, yeah, well, yep. Yeah. What was that crash? Gears have entered the Yggdrasil dock. Five Gebler Special Force Gears and one single unidentified large gear. All pilots report to the gear hangar. Shit. Not so sneaky anymore. Uh, wait, that's not the way. Right? Yeah. I think this is right. I gotta get in my gear. How come no one else is getting- This should be slammed. This should be slammed. What's everyone else doing? Oh, my mech's gone. Let me so set. All non-combatants, get to the Yggdrasil immediately. Wow, I'm scared. Am I a non-combatant? No, 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 I'm not. Oh, this isn't what I wanted you to do. I'm not in control. Faye! Everyone else knows not to use an elevator in an emergency. Faye, quick! Get to the well tall now! Faye? Bart and the others are already fighting. Aren't you going to do anything? Do you still think it has nothing to do with you? I... Come on. Come on, bro. I... What am I? 
That old man. He called me the Slayer of God. I don't want that kind of power. My strength. My home. What? What? How many gears are there? I think I took out most of the small fry, but... There are at least four, maybe five of them left. Their performance and techniques is far, are far greater than any of the ones we faced before. Damn it. Young master, they're approaching. Ooh, okay. Am I in control of these, these little guys too? Okay, let's do... Uh, you know what? Let's just hit them and see how that goes. Pretty well. I think that was pretty good. Oh, he's got a multi-attack. Okay, what do you little dudes do? Wow. Well done. Alright. Okay, I feel good about this. This is gonna go well. Yep, this is fine. Uh... Oh, honestly, yeah, we'll just keep hitting him. It's 3v1. He doesn't stand a chance. Soul of Night. Yes. Yes, run. Maison, does this gear work? Pardon. We oui, it works, but... All right. Out of the question. It is still under maintenance. It is nowhere near operational. It's all right, Maison. Master Sigurd, but for a gent like the good doctor? It's fine. He'll be okay. It might not even be enough for him. Master Sigurd? His actual dubbed voice is kind of a dude bro. Like a surfer dude. Well, it has been five years since I last fought. I hope I can still remember. Go Satan! Surfer dude Bart? Or skater guy Bart? Oh, a wild stallion, eh? Well then, it is high time someone broke you in. Yarg! <laughs> yeah, I think the doc can handle himself. I like. Look at him go! He's got moves! <laughs> hey, that hurts! Compared to the pain my friends are going through, yours is nothing. I cannot allow people like you to persist in tormenting those who cannot fight back. I will take you in, or I will take you on in their place. Come on! What are you talking about? I'm talking about I'm gonna kick your butt, sir. Sis? Sis none. Wait, what did that do? Stores defense. Okay. <laughs> Does Satan have a PhD in pain? Maybe. <laughs> he definitely knows a lot. Like, he seems to know things. Um, he knows things. He knows things that he's not telling us. That's for sure. I also really like his sweep the leg move. A PhD in Koopa? 
Dr. Mog is on the case. Oh, imagine having a PhD in Kupo. That's some education I can get behind. No, just kidding, I can get behind the most education. What a weird, what a weird sentence. Okay, that barely did. Four. Oh, no special options. You gonna pitch Dr. Mod a Dr. Mod game to Square Enix? I'll play it, Ghost. I will play it. Uh, like, is there does there even exist a Moogle focused game? Because like Chocobo Jun Dungeon is a thing. I don't know the full name of that game. Defense down. Store defense. I need a game where a Moogle is, is the main character. Well, I mean, sure, yeah, you, you like you, you can have a Moogle in your party in FF6, but they're not the main character. Hey, Dark Sid. Playing a bunch of pixelated games? Oh, you know it, you know it. How are you today? We love pixels here. We love them. That's it. He's on the box of the US version. That's pretty important. Isn't he optional though? Like, can you can beat that game without even picking up Mog, right? When he learned. Oh, Sid, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. How, what, what can we do to help? I know I'm a little rusty. There's a limit to what I can learn, seeing as I started so late in life. Even so, I hit that guy hard, and he did not go down. They must be using that stuff? That stuff? <laughs> Young one, they're using drive. They are battle enhancement drugs. Normal attacks will not hurt them. Drive? We're doing drugs now? We're doing mech gear drugs? Are you serious? So that's how they keep at it, huh? Crap. This'll never end. Hey. It's okay. We'll get back without them. They're doing drugs? I don't even know what to think about that. Like... How does it work? How does it work? Next ether affects all. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, 240 is still good. Yeah, if they're doing drugs, I want drugs too. I, like, I want an equal playing field. Ah, uh, no, that's okay, Sid. Just, uh... Even if... Yeah. This is not the place. Just know that I, you know... Thinking, I'm thinking positive things for you. I'm o I only want the best for everybody here, is all. <laughs> I want drugs, too. <laughs> If they're doing drugs, I want drugs. So, but are the drugs the person driving it? Like, I'm, think, I'm assuming it's a focus drug to make their reflexes better. It's, it's not making them stronger because they have a gear for that. Or, no, not or, that's it.
great. Oh, plus two. I don't think we have any plus twos. <laughs> Winners don't do Kupo. Sis? Where do you think you're going? Oh, fuck you. Are you gonna murder these children? How admirable. Now, what kind of sound will you make when I do this? What? What? Why are you fighting? You? What are you doing? Aw, oh, fuck. We gonna murder this dude. What does fighting get you? What if this was your home? Okay, let's let's murder. go. Let's go. Wait, was this him? This didn't. I thought his mech looked special. Ooh. Okay, I I feel you got double attack. That's fine. I've got a booster. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I've done it. I'm I'm speedy now. This, these are my drugs. I'm doing drugs too. Suna's just standing behind my... Oh, you can see her butt. This is a Suna butt right here. She's just standing behind my chair. Being sad. <laughs> Friendship is my drug. Ah, uh, so I saw what you saw. I saw what you uh, wrote, Nico. It didn't seem to be a big deal. Faye, I knew you'd come around. We'll talk later. We've got big trouble coming down on us now. Okay, what is this? <laughs> you think she came over because I was talking about doing drugs and she's like, Mom, you don't need to. You don't need to. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do drugs again. Because I'm afraid of this thing. So we're getting boosted here. Oh, this is the thing that I called sh sh uh, shrapnel. Not shrapnel. Def down. Uh, who is this? You're not boosted yet. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um... You wish your car could make its own fuel. I only did five. That'd be pretty cool. Imagine like parking your vehicle at night and in the morning going back to a full tank. What's happening? Uh, that hurt. That did hurt me. You had something... No, no, no. Wasn't you. Wait, what does this do? Launch a high-speed disc attack? I must try this. Well, okay. I won't do that again, then. Uh... Nice either effects all.
Yeah, because he did a death down thing, I think. So that's good. Power mode. Uh, it's going okay, Jackson. This one, I think, is going to be tough. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes in the end. Owie. I'm so hesitant to do this because the coin thing didn't work, but I want to try. Like, maybe magic's just no good against this thing. Yeah, magic no good. Fuck. Fuck. We just- we're just gonna hit it. Yep. That's where it's at. Hit it till we run out of fuel. I do see the one. I don't understand what it means, though. This hurts. Like, I see the one, attack level one. But I don't. Is it. I could do two triangle attacks. How do I know that? How do I know that? Power output 60. Like, what on my screen tells me the amount of fuel? Is there something on the screen that is telling me the amount of fuel that I can use in a... No, that's just... Because that's just 1010. But he can't do it because his attack level is zero. I'm not sure I fully understand. Level one equals triangle. Level two equals square. Level three equals circle? Or do you mean X? You mean X, I think. Okay, so you, he's got, and those are different combos. I do feel like I've missed a tutorial. Was the game meant to tell me that? Yeah, this is a PS1 game. Uh, there is a zero. Not good. I'm also not sure, like, how much I should be paying attention to these numbers. Or maybe they're for later, for things that I haven't unlocked yet. This is fine. The 
fuel is interesting because I'm more concerned about running out of fuel than I am about running out of health. Okay, okay, got it. Got it. Nice. Beam coat. <laughs> The... Uh, thank you. Th thanks, Faye. Bart. Caskin, hi. Thank you, Faye. I don't know if we could have done it without you. I... still don't know what I should do. Faye. What Bart's doing isn't for his own gain. He walks the path he believes in, one step at a time, wishing only for the happiness of those around him. I, on the other hand, I thought I didn't have a path that I could take laid out before me. But like he said, that's just running away. I must find my own path, right, Doc? If Bart wishes, I'll cooperate with you guys. That's all I can do now. But I think I'll find the path I should follow as I help others like you. Moreover, I can't turn my back and ignore what such a terrible group of people are doing to others. Thanks, Faye. Yes! Yes! Paskin? I really, really like it so far. The story has been quite solid. Quite solid. I'm in. We must infiltrate Ave and rescue Margie now. Gebler has discovered this base, so we should leave a small garrison and evacuate while we still can. Fortunately, the Yggdrasil is undamaged, so we are able to embark immediately. The crew's preparations are complete. Whenever you are ready, Master Fay and good doctor, please accompany the young master to the bridge. Dr. Uzuki, Master Fay, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would truly appreciate it if you would be so kind as to stay with us and help us on our rescue mission. Hey, all right, all right. Let me say goodbye to the women before we go. Okay, I want to check something here. I want to check something in the menu. So, I bought you this. Yes. Also, that's better. Oh, wait. Hmm. Someone should have that. The old circuit does response. I like the idea of, um, like, installing AC. Because it's the desert. I mean, it makes sense. You're going to the desert? You need some AC. Alright, um, let's check this too. Yeah. Iron whip. It's, it really bothers me that these people don't have weapons yet. Okay, so he said to get ready and then we can go. Let's get in. I am a bit curious to go to the gear shop. Um, but I think we can do that later. Do you know what I, I am learning to appreciate more now? Um, for those who have played Final Fantasy Tactics, the 
dressing room when you're in the store and you can use a dressing room and t try things on your people and see how they affect their stats right then and there. I, I have come to have a great appreciation for that mechanic. It's time to sneak into Ave at last. First of all, our party should inspect the town and work out a plan of action. Currently anchored in our at our hideout. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Games with dressing rooms really love us. Yes, I. So I've been playing um, Tactics Ogre Reborn um, in my personal time. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going. And that they don't have that feature, and I really wish they did. All right, Jackson, no worries. I hope she feels better soon. Where the hell is... Where the hell are we going? Oh, this thing only goes in the desert? That, I guess that makes sense. Road to Nissan. Is that what I want? Road to Nissan. I mean, I haven't gone that way. Maybe it's up through the middle, though. Streamer plays games off streams. Oh my goodness. Yes, I do play games off stream, believe it or not. I don't live on the internet? Well, what's that? What are those? Because the border. Here's where the danger begins. Am I? I don't, I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm gonna go to the road. To Nissan. Is Nissan where Ave is? Have a great day at work, Adriana. Hope to see you again soon. There is actually, like, I feel guilt. Which is a weird thing. Okay, I don't know what I expected to happen there, but it wasn't that. I didn't... I mean, I know, it's a sand submarine, right? I, I know that. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I feel guilt when I game off stream. Or I have a lot of problems starting a new game for myself. Because I always have the thought of, well, I could... I could stream this, you know, why, why aren't I streaming this? But I think it's a, like it's an important life balance thing to, you know, just play things for myself as well. Can't always be live. Oh, oh wow, it's pretty. What are the, what do the points mean? Maybe I should save. You share these thoughts? Yeah. You have to pick some games that you just play for me. Yep. Yep. Oh, I can't save here. Cannot save here. And often it's, um... Like the newer games. More modern games I'll play for myself. Although, I mean, I say that... I'm playing Tactics Over Reborn, but I'm also playing Star Ocean First Departure by myself. Hello, are you the children that were on our ship? My dad always says it's peaceful here, but what is peace anyway? I don't really understand. Hey, you're a stranger, aren't you? My mom said that there are lots of strangers who do bad things, so I should be careful. Are you a bad person? First Departure is kind of new to the States. I, I'm i only playing it. I mean, it has been kind of on my radar because it's in, it, it is included in the PS Plus selection. So it's been on my radar and then they announced that it's leaving PS Plus mid-May. So I wanted to get it I, I wanted to play it while it was still free for me. 
continuing our pilgrimage from the south. We finally arrived a few days ago. I'm very sorry, but we're all full. As an apology, please accept this. Thank you for the tea. Reduced weight a bit? Reduced weight a bit. Did he just give me a laxative tea? I'm not sure I understand that. Walking around the desert is hard work. No, it's not streaming. I'm not streaming it. You can actually download it. I just don't know what tier it's available for. One of the tiers. But it's not streaming. I know a lot of the games are like streaming. Or a lot of the older ones at least. Traveling? Surely it's tiring. You're going to that inn? I'm sure they'll have good food for you. No, yeah, not part of the collection. It's just, it's one of the included games. Or I guess I'm not really sure the language they use. The only Star Ocean game not available on PS4 is two. What's the, what is the subtitle of that one? We work in the cathedral over there. So your sisters? Yes, that is correct. We are wandering the land. Second star story. Searching for the connection between Nissan and the outside world. I noticed in my Steam library, at some point, I bought myself a um, Star Ocean game, because there's another one sitting in my library. What if I click this? The music will stop. Which one did I have? Uh, the Last Hope? I have Star Ocean The Last Hope. I don't know when I bought that for myself, but it's in my Steam library. Just visiting everybody's house. Hello, Grandma. Oh. Okay. Is this his grandmother? Is this actually his grandmother? Hey, aren't you the young master? Hey, you. Wait, who's talking to me? Huh? Huh. It's Bartholomew. Are you doing well? Good enough. Don't try to overdo it. Hey, are those your friends back there? Yeah, Faye and Satan. Friends of the young master are friends of ours. Take your time and look around. Thanks. Hey, who are these people? There's no souvenir shop in this town. This isn't a tourist attraction. I guess not. Hmm. That guy there, once in a while we get those ignorant types coming to our town. They have no idea about what kind of situation we're all in. I hate them, those people who are so ignorant about what's happening in the world. Don't tell me you guys are like that too. Okay, okay lady, relax. Come on in. Looking for, oh, mmm, mmm, should I do shopping? Welcome back, Night Sprite. Oh, there's Aquasol S. Oh, I see. Okay. I think, excuse me. I think I should buy some things, yeah? I have a couple of these. There. Bought some stuff. Oh, can I sell my old, uh, not old. Can I sell my extra uh, gear parts? Oh, you want to do Star Ocean back to back? I'm going to do Star Ocean run. Okay, sell equipment. I don't think that's what I want. You missed a lot over lunch? 
Okay, I'm gonna save here. I don't know, I mean, we have done a lot of things. But it doesn't feel like a lot. Um, I think because the first part, like what we, the first like four hours or so that we played on Monday was so action packed. Like so much story. This has been less story today. Um, shh, I came from this way. All right, later, Gord. Have a good day. You've not heard good things about the fifth one. I'm quite liking the fir er, the first departure. What is this place? I'm quite liking it. Um, I just find that sometimes I need a bit of a guide, specifically with the... You know they have like, they have the action time events. Where does this go? When you enter and exit like a city, for example. Where does this go? Oh no no no! I'm not ready to leave yet. Take me back. Um, but if you activate the action active time events, it separates your party when you're in the city. So you have to exit and enter again to have your party all together. Just kind of just a just a little like quirky thing. But I couldn't figure out. I was unable to advance the story, and I couldn't figure out why. So I, I did have to look it up. <gasps> I can paint. Can I paint? Oh, wouldn't that be so cool? Faye is a painter. Oh, look it. He's gotta love this. Do you not love this, Faye? Actually, Nissan is a pretty popular place among artists. Part of the reason is the scenery, but it's mostly because of the portrait of the great mother that is said to be in the cathedral. Unfortunately, the public is not permitted to see it. Oh, Bart reminds you of someone from an anime? Okay, I'll take a look at it. Neither of us serve in heaven within the Nissan Cathedral, but we pray here daily, as ones who have lived here for many years. Mm. Did I go into this house yet? Hello? You people. You're not residents here. I know from your aura. I too once lived near the royal capital. I swindled people using fake goods when I lived there. I came to hate doing those things. Then I heard of this place or some, from some pilgrims. I alternate gate duty with the guy outside, but it's pretty interesting. Every day I see the pilgrim spaces and get impressions, like this person is very troubled and such. I used to use that ability to get money from people. Now I'd never think of doing this is a very honest man. They make good cars here. Maybe it's Nissan. Maybe it's not. I've been saying Nissan, but maybe it's not actually Nissan. Nissan. I don't know. Okay, this is kind of where I wanted to go. To the cathedral. Oh, this is the cathedral. Nice. Nissan is correct. Okay, what is this guy up to? Hello. Hello? I live in the royal capital, but my oh my, this was definitely worth the trip. I never knew it was so beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. That to my castle is no comparison to this. Hmm. Yeah, you're... What? Hey, you. Are you putting down Fatima Castle? No, I didn't mean that. 
Who is this guy? H hey, Bart. Don't you be dissing me. You don't even know what you're looking at, or know who you're looking at. Damn. Never mind. Just forget it. Okay. Oh, pretty. Pretty! Hello, Elmo! Welcome in! How, how is it going? This is the first RPG you ever played? Oh. Does it hold, like, is, is this hitting that nostalgia bone, then? Oh. Hey, hey. Don't go up there like that. I'm sorry? What am I supposed to do? My husband was a soldier in the Royal Capital's army, but he died a few years back near the border of Kislev. Since then, I've been coming here every year on the anniversary of his death. Uh, should I talk to her? Well, Elmo, I have been loving it so far. So my, my hopes are very high. My hopes are very high. Yeah. No unauthorized persons beyond this point. How do I get authorized? To come here when you are so young is a sign of your interest. Yeah, sure. I moved from another town to live here. But they say some young people do the opposite and move away from here. I wonder if it's because they want something more than peace in their hearts. I guess that's just how young people are today. Okay, am I? Maybe I'm done here. They don't want me to go up the stairs. That's fair. I've talked to everybody. This is kind of a cool spot with a stained glass light. I like that. I'm not authorized to go beyond that, lady. I guess we go back to town. Oh, you don't remember a lot of it? How far am I? Um, I'm about eight hours? I'm about eight hours in. This is only my my second stream of it, and I usually stream for about four hours. I think I went there. I went there. Oh, fuck. Shit. What? Oh, is this the kids playing? Did I get in the kids' way, I think? Maybe we go around the back? Let's, let's see what else is here. Is this something? Oh, no, it's not. Shoot. Uh, okay. Why do I feel like I've missed something in this town? Jake! Hello! Welcome in. Oh, no. Which way am I facing? Which way was in? Oh, that's out. How goes the journey? Uh, good, I guess. We're, we're doing, we're doing exploring right now. We did a bunch of story in the Yggdrasil and in the hideout. And now we are trying to get a girl back. We're trying to rescue, what's her name, Maggie, Marnie? I don't know, Faye is trying to decide what his life is gonna be about. I'm actually not sure what I'm doing right now or where I'm actually, where I'm really supposed to be going. And I don't know what this space is. Legend of Dragoon stream when? Jackson. Jackson, we already played Legend of Dragoon. We already did it. We played it. The entire the entire playthrough is on my YouTube if you wish to relive. If you wish to relive that. Oh man, which way am I going? <laughs> yeah, check, check the VODs. might be lost. 100%? You want me to 100% Legend of Dragoon? What does that entail? 
Like, we got most of the stardust. We did do the stardust. You helped me. You helped me find the stardust. Oh, no, I didn't do... I. You know what? I didn't even do... Um, I don't even know if it's the super boss. Maybe I'm supposed to be going to the red. No, red's world map? I didn't do... Weren't there like three dragons or something along the trail of the last, like the last little story bit? I didn't do those. I don't think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I should have saved. I haven't saved my game in a while. Oh, look how cool they look. It's been a while since we battled outside of Met. Yeah, we I left I left them there to die. I did. Whoops. But we did get a lot of Stardust. Did we get all of the Stardust? I don't know if we got all of the Stardust, but I did collect most of the Stardust. Maybe we did get all the Stardust. Yeah, because I was following a guide. I was following a guide. We did Stardust. What am I doing in this city? I think the city is where I'm supposed to be, but I'm just not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> Ah, Doctor's so cool. I feel bad for these things, though. Like, I'm outclassing them. Like crazy. Outclassing them like crazy. You would know if you got the Stardust because you get the final reward next to the final Stardust. We did Stardust. Asuna. One second. One second. She has, um, she has discovered that she can, like, just barely reach her back toe that she's been licking if she lays in the right direction. Um, I'm gonna have to deal with that later. I did buy some vet wrap. So maybe, maybe it will be, yeah, this calls for a larger cone for sure. If you were unaware, my dog is living the cone life right now because she has hurt her toe and will not leave it alone. Um, where, where am I going? What am I doing? You must be from another land. How's the outside world? Rumor has it that political instability is growing, but that's hardly surprising given the current governments. Too true. Too true. Oh, that's true, Myson. Backhand. Hey. Hey, backhand and friends. Welcome in. How are you today? Thank you for the raid. Artistic, welcome. Solitary gaming, welcome. How's it going? Meta. Hi, Meta. How are you doing? Oh, Hatchet's here. Hey, Hatchet. And Ginger. Wow, a lot of friendos. A lot of friendos. Pokemon Emerald, how was it? How was, how was your stream? Thank you so much for dropping your friends off here, backhand. Um, hi. Welcome. If you don't know me, my name is Leandra. We mostly play RPGs here. Today we are playing Xenogears. This is my first playthrough. This is episode two. We're about eight hours into it. Um, please, no spoilers, no backseating. I, I appreciate that very, very much. Um, but yeah, I'm live Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings, 9 a.m. Central, if you want to see the rest of the journey. 
it's so nice to meet all of you. Thank you for choosing me as as your raid target. I I promised to take very good friend, very very good care of your friends. It was great. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. So glad to hear it. Nice to meet you too. I I'm not gonna lie to you. Right now, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm lost in a city. I'm in a city. I mean, I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am, but I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah. <laughs> Backhand these buns. Oh my sin. Okay. Wait a minute. What does this mean? Like he just keeps giving me tea. Can I, is this a ladder? He keeps giving me tea, and it makes me lose weight. And I'm not sure what that means. It's diet tea. Yeah, it's it's a laxative. He's like, ah, oh, you, you little chunker. And there's no way. Has he seen me fight? He hasn't seen me fight. He doesn't know how strong I actually am. Hey. Stop. Suna. She's doing... She's doing little... Do you need me to yell at you more? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dog cam. She's not even in the video. I'll, sh I'll show you. She's not there. But I will put the tiara on. I'm yelling at my dog because she keeps licking her toe and making it bleed. And she has a cone on. The cone is not enough. The cone is not enough. Okay, these are the children that we talked to. Can I get a hint? Am I even in the right place? Science! Flamingo, am I even in the right place for story progression? No, I'm gonna have to yell at her, like, for real. Okay, she's getting up. She's getting up, she's moving. I'm not supposed to be here? Okay. I'm not supposed to be here. I was hoping someone would redeem science today. So, when science is redeemed here, um, I talk about one of the papers that I recently edited. That is my job outside of streaming. When I'm not streaming, I am editing. Yeah, that's what science does, Ross. So, I will tell you about the paper that I worked on yesterday. <laughs> Dog tiara. Oh, fuck. Um, yesterday, I edited a paper about monkey poop. And I just knew that this would be pop popular with you. So the idea of this paper was they took the feces from these monkeys. They are gray, gray snub-nosed monkeys specifically, and they collected fresh feces. And they were trying to isolate bacteria from the poop of these monkeys. With the idea being that these monkeys eat a lot of grass and a lot of like roughage. Can I get back in my, how do I get back in my thing? Maybe it was the other way. These monkeys eat a lot of grass, a lot of roughage. So the idea was to isolate bacteria that are able to digest these grasses. And then with the like forward thought of using these isolated bacteria to pre-treat feed ingredients for agricultural, agricultural animals, like straw, for example, which is hard to digest. Um, how do I go back to the the deck? So, yeah, with the idea of identifying bacteria that I could use to pre-treat hard to digest or cellulose containing feedstuffs to make it more accessible and more digestible by other animals and get like the most value out of the feed ingredients. New follower, welcome in. I hope your day has been so so good. But yes, that is your that's your science for the day. Back using bacteria from monkey poop to help 
digest feedstuffs. It's not a new idea. Um, free treating. Yeah, sneak into Ave. How do I get there? Free treating feedstuffs is not a new idea. Um, it's often done with like a chemical or like like liquid fermented feeds are a thing for for piglets or weaned pigs because it 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 helps it's like a pre-digestion right they're they're young they're young animals with an underdeveloped digestive tract so it kind of helps them helps them get the most out of their feed but i thought it was a, a pretty interesting paper it's also something that my previous uh boss was interested in but she was thinking about using pandas so she we didn't end up doing this because i mean how do you acquire panda feces but wait what's that is that where we fall in i don't want to fall in oh that looks different is this ave what's this place But, you know, because because pandas eat bamboo, and you would think, like, bamboo. What's this? Relatively hard to digest. So maybe pandas have something kind of cool in their digestive tracts, bacteria-wise, that's helping them digest the bamboo. Instead, what we ended up doing, and this is not something that I worked on for a long time, but a um, another... Uh, person in, in the lab I was working in. Like, can I go here? We ended up getting a, I think it's called a grass carp. Or I guess more accurately, the body of a grass carp. I can just get out at any time. Okay. <laughs> and then <laughs> we, uh, we removed the digesta from this grass carp. And, um, like, can I just go in there? And try to isolate bacteria from it with the same idea, like, oh, this is where I want to go. With the same idea, isolate bacteria that can digest, like, tough to digest things by, by natural, um, natural means. Have a great lunch, Jackson. And yeah, if I don't see you... Have a, have a good rest of your day. Have a wonderful Thursday. Yeah, I'll see you on, see you on Feces Friday. See you there. It's kind of weird because we're talking about feces right now. Okay, this is the big ship we saw earlier, I think. My doctor asked for a stool sample, so I brought him the chair I sit on <laughs> to put my shoes on. Ay, ay, ay. Speaking of doctors, I am paying attention to this cutscene. Don't don't worry. Speaking of doctors, we got an email yesterday. So I'm I'm in the process of applying for a green card, which has been ongoing for like years, like over a year at this point, right? got an email yesterday saying that we have to go redo our doctor's appointments. This is just like a physical check that we have all the immunizations like required for the country and um, I don't know, I suppose making sure we're not sick. Gravity distribution normal. Shutting down propulsion system. Begin docking procedure. I'm going to finish my story before I read this. Anyways, we did this already, right? We did this 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 doctor's appointment, and then, um, yeah, there she is. We did this doctor's appointment already, and they gave us sealed envelopes, like, signed across the seal by the doctor for us to submit with our green card application. Um, but we got an email yesterday saying that they couldn't find them. They have misplaced them somewhere. They're gone and we have to go do these appointments all over again. And I'm just like, it's, it hasn't, like, it's been a while. It's been a while as well, like, since we did that 
probably a year at this point since we had those appointments and only now are we finding out that they have like lost our information anyways just fucking annoying misplaced i don't know yeah i don't know we have to go to the doctors again we have to go to the doctor again and get our like immigration checkups again it's just it's just annoying like i thought that we were really good and like you know all the steps we're checking making making check marks on lists of immigration bullshit and now it's just nah sorry can you just go to the doctor again i know that wasn't a pain in the ass at all so you definitely won't mind going again and it wasn't expensive so definitely just do it again okay new, new characters let's go let's invest cancel the alert status begin repairs and resupply immediately The Prime Minister and General Yander Kam are here to see you, Commander. Hmm. What a dismal welcome. What do you expect? We're on the surface. Myang, let's disembark. Yes, sir. So I think that the part of it my sin that's important is that the documents were sealed so like the doctor writes a report and it is sealed and then that sealed report goes to the immigration office so i have no idea what they wrote on their report and that's that's the thing that they cannot find well well commander you've only just taken command and already you are achieving splendid results you dispatched those irksome Kislev units in a matter of days. I am very impressed. I can't believe you were beaten by such a small force. I have only just taken over my post and already you have embarrassed me. I'm sorry, Commander. They were more persistent than we anticipated. They had a new model gear that was very mobile. I couldn't get a lock on him with the main gun. Otherwise, there would have been no way we could have been beaten by such... Fool! I know when to use that big gun, and on whom. You failed because you tried to solve everything with force. You have muscles instead of brains. Oh shit. Amander. Dismissed. Go polish your beloved 1200 SEM cannon. Tomorrow is the 500th anniversary of this country. Please come to the dedication tomorrow. There is a customary tournament after the dedication ceremony. What about the incident in that report? What? Oh, you mean the 500-year-old mobile weapon excavated from the ruins? Thanks to the help of the ethos, the repairs are complete. I thought we could announce it on the day of the dedication ceremony. Okay. Okay, is this the thing? Maybe this is the thing. Toys like that should be given to Vandercom. I'm talking about the Fatima Jasper. I already have obtained one half of the crest, but I haven't been able to get her to tell me where the other half is. Her. Which, who do we think her is? She's a rather strong-willed girl. Like, is it, is it Ellie time? Is Ellie coming back? You're not being rough with her, are you? Of course not. I know how you despise vulgar acts like that. Hey, little Melly. You said that girl is the Holy Mother of Nissan. Is she upstairs? Oh, the Holy Mother of Nissan? Yes, in the East Tower. Miang, could it possibly be a relic? Yes, but there's still no response. There seems to be a barrier or something. However, we do know from the 500-year-old records that one certainly exists in this vicinity. It's probably well-preserved, too. Let's meet her. I want to talk to her directly. Miang, you come with me. Yes, sir. Oh, everybody's got cute bees. Open the door. Commander Rasmus Ramses is here to see her. Commander, please. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Who's that? Who are you? I am Ramses. She is Miang. We would like to ask you some questions. Oh, this is Margie. This is who we're supposed to be rec rescuing. I'm Margie. Actually, it's Marguerite. What do you want to know? My favorite food? I like cake. Chiffon Nissan is my favorite. I haven't had it in so long. Marguerite, we want to ask you about the Fatima family treasure. I'm talking about Fatima Jasper. You see, I'm keeping the piece you had in a safe place. But I don't know where the other piece is, do you? Nope. The one I had you took from me. You didn't even give me anything for it. Hey, the next time you come, could you bring some chiffon Nissan? I used to eat it every day in Nissan. I don't think they make it in Ave. Ave used to have such good bakers, but I guess they must have all died in the war. That is too bad. I don't know much about cake, but I'll see if I can find some for you next time. Thank you, Ramses. I'll be waiting. Is she a prisoner here? Like, I, I thought this vibe would be a little bit different, like she's being held captive or something. Is there anything else you need? If there's something you want, I'll bring it next time. No, I just want to go back to Nissan. They must be so worried about me. I'm sorry, but please wait a little longer. We want you to stay here until we find the other half of the Fatima Jasper. I'm amazed she talked that much. He can handle women as well as he says. Okay. Is it all right? I can't prevent them from meeting her. Not when it's him we're talking about. Besides, Marguerite isn't talking anyway. There's no need to worry. But where did the leak about the Jasper come from? <laughs> New follower, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. The ethos. Ridiculous. Hmm. If this continues, my plans will be... We had better find out who is leaking our information immediately. In the meantime, we'll have to administer some truth serum to our guest, Miss Marguerite. We must find the other piece of the Fatima Jasper as quickly as we can. But... However spineless the last commander, Vak Vanderkam, was, this time Gebler has sent their highest commanding officer. His country is throwing all their weight into this, and there is nothing we can do about it. All right, we are in town. I assume we just parked our me mechs outside as last time safely. We did. We give. We gave her a beep beep. This place looks happening. This place also reminds me of Legend of Dragoon. Huh. Oh. Welcome to Bledovic. We're having a festival celebrating the founding of our country, Ave. Yeah, oh yeah, we dropped our mechs off with the valet. There's martial arts tournament too. It's been a while since we had so many visitors. Do you already have a hotel? Not yet. You'd better get a room soon or they'll all be gone. I know a good hotel. The hotel I'm talking about is... That one. Tell them my name at the front desk and they'll give you a deal. Did you tell me your name? Did... What's your name? What is... What? Tell me... Tell them my name. What's your name? This is the same. Ah, they never gave their name. They never gave their name, but they're like, tell them, tell them my name. Oh, also, how do I get up there? <gasps> Radishes. Oh, shoot. Okay. Cameras are... Camera, swing that camera. Fuck. 
This isn't even platforming. This isn't even platforming, this is just stairs. And I can't get up them. The wor the I'm the worst. Let us borrow a room here for our planning session. Um, excuse me, but aren't you Prince Bartholomew? And you are? I was sent here by the Nissan sect. I'm here to check up on Mother Marguerite. Prince Bartholomew, I knew you would come sooner, sooner or later. Well, let us not just stand here chatting. Shall we use a room? You must be tired. I'll be in my room. Please come by later. That's her room. That's my room there. Okay, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that. Do the stairs count as a series of platforms? Yeah, let's say they do. Let's say they do. Okay, this is where we are gonna call it for today. Ah, uh, today's stream has been so good. So good. Holy crap. I, I am like so excited. I'm still so excited about this game. This, it's holding up. This is holding up. First, Cloud. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, yeah. I'm still, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm like, my hair is crazy, but I'm still like as excited as about this game as I was before. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's too good. Too good. Thank you all for being here today. Um, if you're new, I will be back on Friday morning at 9 a.m. If you're not new, I'm, I'll still be here Friday morning, 9 a.m. And we're going to play more Xenon Gears. Yeah. <laughs> Cries in West Coast time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just, I love the morning. I love my mornings. Um, okay. Heck, heck. Who's on and where should we go? Hmm. There's a lot of good friendos on. Oh, I always feel bad about this. Okay, I, I know where I want to go. Oh, I spelled that wrong. We're going to go to some Chrono Cross. The um, person we are rating is Truly Rawsome. Now, I met them... Oh, I forget how I met them. Oh, invalid username. Did I, did I wreck this? Okay, wait, trying again, trying again. There we go. Truly Rossum. They are playing Chrono Cross. No spoilers, no backseating. Please respect this. They are a grad student at a university in Ontario, and I forget who I met them through, um, but we kind of connected on like the, you know, grad student life and then also, you know, Canada. Um, it looks like raids are acting up again, so if you are not brought along and you care to be you care to join? This is where we're going. Truly Rossum playing Chrono Cross. Um, as I said before, I will be back Friday morning to hang out with you, all of you. Let's heck and do it. We'll play more Xeno Gears on Friday. Um, until then, I hope you have a really, really wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Have an excellent Thursday. Um, take care of yourselves. Take care of all the people around you, as always. Uh, CN has the raid message there if you wish to do a copy paste. Also, the link to the Discord if you want to join and hang out with us off stream. And if you ever miss a video, that is a link to my YouTube. I post all my VODs there. So if you ever miss something, it'll be there. You'll be able to find it. All right. I'm going to say bye for now, friends. Let's go see Rossum. Have a wonderful day.